Welcome to AFK, here on the Loading Ready Run Network. Thank you. I'm your host, Ben, and joining me is Graham. Ha uh, hi. Adam. Ha uh, hi. And Ian. It's your boy. Okay. Where? <laughs> Where? Yeah. I have a boy? Who's got my boy? And uh, today we are playing Space Base. Space Base? Space Pants. Space Base. Space Pants. Space Pants. Uh, which is an awesome game that was sent in mail time, so I'm really, really pumped for this. It kind of feels a little bit like Dice Forge, in a way, in the way that things that we do are going to... I mean, we don't augment the dice, but we, we forge our, our, our base in space. We and get better ships to our space base. Yeah, and rolls and make I things happen. I never played Dice Forge. But a reminder, before we get into the rules and all that jazz, that this mm. stream is brought to you by the amazing folks over at oh, WormwoodGaming.com. Yeah. If you live in the U.S., you can use code LRR for free shipping. Uh, you can get one of these awesome... We're using it today. we got a dice tower and a little dice uh, dice tray. And if you live in the U.S., you can use code LRR for free shipping. And everywhere else, you can use code LRR World for $10 off shipping. That's Wormwood Gaming. Oh, the bones really. of trees and the skins of beasts to your gaming table. Adam marking out for Ian hitting the table is now my favorite part of AFK. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I like putting these two together. You did it too early. Yeah. I it's, really, you threw me off. You're trying to like... You, you ruined I your, don't like this new yeah, season yeah. of Table Slap, Ian. I think I want to go back to I, where I was before. I, I just like the way it used to be... That you would you were slapping the table for emphasis, you know, during the 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 explanation, the during the line. Now you're just slapping the table, whenever. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't slap it when you're not here. This, the, really? this I, is the yeah. thing. Organically, the table slap seems to be on its way out. No. <laughs> I will hold on. Ian to does it for Adam Savadan's <laughs> benefit. So at this my, point. So my You've lost the true meaning of the yeah. table slap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adam also, Adam will die on this hill. A reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading where you run. You're the reason we're able to do all kinds of fun things. Like, for example, we're going to be going to Magic Fest Seattle coming up here. Uh, myself and Graham and Adam and Cameron and James and Serge and Beege. Because we're going to have a booth. Yeah, we're going to have a booth. It's going to be super sweet. So uh, if you want Beach to grade your cards uh, and then give them back to you because we don't do anything <laughs> with graded cards, uh, you can do that. And we can, we're, we're, there, we're, we're there to you know, say hi to you guys and, and sign mm -hmm. things. Or, and we'll probably be doing spell slinging and whatnot, I assume. We're doing our best to have new magic-related merchandise for Ooh. you to do a commerce with. Okay. It'll, be, it'll be available online as well, but, mm -hmm. but we're... we're you know, we've got got a month and a half. Yeah. We could probably get something out the door. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much for all your support on our Patreon. Uh, so today we are playing Space Base, which is a game that involves cards and dice uh, and spaces and bases. And essentially how the game is going to go is uh, very similar. If you, if you have played Dice Forge, this is the last time I'm really going to use it as an example. Uh, we roll dice, and according to things that are in our bases here, uh, we score points and credits and stuff like that. So you can see we've got these very, very long uh, dealios. Each I of them... have 12 ships docked at my base. What yes. about you? I also have 12 oh. ships docked at my base. <laughs> it's like how it starts or something. Yeah, <laughs> and every single person starts exactly as the same. So these are all cards uh, that are in our little slots here, and down here are our uh, resources. There's two resources, and then there's victory points. So the one resource is gold, and I guess the other one is... The only resource really is credits. It's gold. Yeah. Um, and the other one, the other track is income, and then finally um, victory points here at the bottom. The goal of the game is to get to 40 victory points. Weirdly, income different from credits, but that's how it is. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, and the income isn't quite income, mm -hmm. but we'll get to how that works. And if I may clarify, the, yeah. the, the game ends when someone hits 40 points. The person with the most points <laughs> is the winner. She right, even, She yes. even really got me. With the... How does how does that change? Can you like because once someone hits forty points, we take an extra turn. Everyone right, which means yes. someone could theoretically get more than forty. You points. could you could squeeze on past there. Yeah. So very true. I'm putting a flag in. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Well, Ian's going hard. All right. Uh, so basically, how the game goes is whoever the starting player is, they will roll the dice and then they can assign the dice. There's two. They're just regular old d6s here. They roll them and they assign the numbers corresponding to the numbers on the uh, the space base. There's 12 spaces, as we said. Uh, so hypothetically, if I did a roll, I rolled a five and a four. Now I can either allocate one dice to a five and a four, 
or I can allocate them together and go to a nine. So if, for example, you can you can activate your ship at dock four and five. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Or dock nine. Yeah. So okay. looking at these, uh, you can kind of uh, see that there's uh, two sort of sides to this. One is this little blue section, and one is this red section. So the blue section corresponds Actually, to an activation whenever you're in uh, your whenever it's docked in your base. So for example, if I activated the four and five, I would get one credit each. There's one little gold on each of these. Or I could put them together and activate nine, which would increase my income by one. Um, and uh, we'll get to how income kind of works. Uh, I guess I could probably just describe income right now. Uh, how it works is if at any point at the end of your turn, because whenever you buy something, all your gold goes away. Um, if you're ever below the threshold of your income, at the end of your turn, you actually get gold back. So, if, for example, I had if I activated that and I spent all five of my starting credits uh, at the thing, I'd be below five, which means at the end of your turn, I get you know one credit at the end. Right. That's how income works. Very simple. So, so that, if you if your income is twenty, yes, then at the end of every turn, you're going to go back up to, to twenty. Exactly. Nice. Yeah, it's not bad. Nice. Um, now, here is the interesting part. Uh, while whoever is the active player, you know, rolls that and they get to activate their thing. Everyone else also gets to activate things according to that dice. However, this is where the other side of the card takes place. So as I showed on the cards, there's a one sided, uh, there's a blue side, and then there's a red side. There's kind of two sides to it. So if at any point you buy a new ship from in here, let's you would say this one. Yeah, let's say that I'll one. Buy that one. You put it's, it in. It's got a number five on it. Yeah, you put it in whatever slot it corresponds to. So in this case, it says five. Graham would remove the fifth one and slip it upside down in that. That means you're sending it out to space. Deployed. They're deployed. And so when it's not your turn and somebody rolls, you can activate the, the dice uh, to deployed ships. That's the only time you basically will accrue them on your own. Better so in this case, five. five. So I'm going to go, oh, I get one credit because he rolled a five. Exactly. So that's how it basically works. You want to have a nice balance between ships that are in your dock and outside so you can always be, you know, uh, trying to, to accrue uh, gold and all that kind of jazz. Um, how you buy. On your turn, when you're the active player, you can buy one ship from this big old market. And now there's three sort of, there's there's three different lanes, uh, three different markets. Usually the ones are a little bit cheaper. The ones from the second uh, are kind of in the middle, and the third ones are uh, big kind of ones that you that cost uh, always 14, I believe. I think it's 14, 7, and 3. 12 here, too. There's, there's ranges. Okay, there are ranges, yeah. So, uh, but the threes usually have great effects. Like, as you can see, these ones just straight up award victory points. Um, and these have all kinds of neat abilities and same, so on and so forth. There's also the uh, colonies that you can purchase. Uh, they're very expensive, but as you can see, they award a lot of things. Like, for example, uh, that one up there that costs 42 at the end, every time uh, you would roll a 12, you get 14 victory points, which is... Ah like a third of what you need to win. But Ben, when, with a trade-off like that, there mm -hmm. must be a downside. What's the downside of buying a colony? Uh, I don't know. Ah, well then I'll explain. The downside that was a good of... setup, and I'm sorry I, <laughs> That's I put you down. If I were to, say, have 42 points and wanted to buy this colony, yes. I could do that. I would place it in the appropriate slot, which in this case is 12, because mm -hmm. there's 12 on it. But because it's a colony, I flip it over and I can no longer buy ships for that slot. Ah, okay, yes, right. Which means I can, I will and, only have and you only, already. And you only get the deployed. benefit for, from it once, I exactly. guess. Right, sorry, so yeah, never mind. It's not whenever you roll, it's you get you accrue those points and then you get rid of that slot. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, that's the trade-off, sorry about that. You can't send your colony off into deep into space. Into deep space, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Later, fuckers. <laughs> So uh, that's that's basically the long and short of it. Uh, I'm going to quickly get into what the different symbols and whatnot mean on the cards. But other than that, it's pretty simple. It's a very, very mm -hmm. straightforward game. Um, and not all examples of ones are on here. Um, but as kind of weird ones come up, we can just talk about them when they show up. Because whenever you do purchase a one, a thing, at the end of your turn, you obviously replace much like any of these games that have marketplaces. So, for example, let's just like go to the top down and, and show a couple. So you've seen these already. This, for example... Uh, would anytime you activate it gives you like six credits and one income or when it's away it gives you one income and four credits but let's talk about some of these weirder ones so for example there's uh, these ones that have little squares on them what that means is whenever you activate it if it doesn't have a charge cube on it which are these little cubes over here you can put a charge cube on it um, provided it doesn't I think it's like provided it doesn't uh, interfere with the charging process you can if you'd like activate those abilities on your turn so there are uh, three colors. There's blue, which is things that are on your turn. 
Only. There are only on your turn. There's red, things not on your turn. And then there's green abilities that are activated whenever you would like. Mm -hmm. And you can expend the charge cubes on these things at any point, not only when you activate it, to do these kind of abilities. So for example, if I got this one and I had a charge cube on it, it's exchange this card with any other card on the on your board. So you can swap around things at, uh, at instant speed, as it were, in magic kind of terms. So if hypothetically, this was in the spot of something that uh, somebody rolled and you really wanted to cash in, and maybe you had something that was like, get nine gold. You could expend this charge and hot swap them really quick so you could get that gold. That's an example of that. There are also ones that have multiple uh, little uh, areas on here. What those mean is before you can use that ability, you actually need to have multiple charge cubes on it. Mm -hmm. The little pips on them denote how many players uh, in the game would change it. So for example, in this one, there's three things, but the last square has, a two, has either two pips or three pips. That means in a two to three player game, you would need to charge all three. But in this case, because we're playing a four player, you would only need four. And if you wanted to, this ability is an activated ability on your turn. So you would get rid of those charge cubes. And it says, swap two, swap your two, sorry, it's really hard to read upside Small. down. Swap your two and 11 sector cards. So hmm. it's kind of a weird ability. And um, you, also, you also get the four yes. credits each time? Yes. yes. When it's rolled on, yep. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's all kinds of wild and wacky abilities. There's some victory points. There are ones that actually uh, award you things that are beside it and whatnot. It's, it gets really, really wild. Um, but uh, we will kind of get into those as I think they come along, because I think this is just one of these games that you play and you will catch up on it pretty quick. Yeah. Isn't there one that just says win the game? Yes, yes there, there is, is <laughs> one that you charge up and it just wins you the game. But you have to roll 12 like a bunch of times or something? Something like someone, that. Someone chat was talking about yeah. that. So, so um, there's a whole thing for determining the starting player. Yes, yeah, so before we start, each of us is actually going to get our own little special ship that we start with. Um, so we're going to go around and, uh, I guess, showcase what it is. So Graham, yeah. take one from the top and show it off here. And what do we got here? I've got the UES Kizim, mm -hmm. a Tolkien-class cargo carrier. Okay, and it so that slots into your four this spot. Is ship run by nerds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I love yeah. these hobbits in space. So put this in <laughs> hobbits in four space. Space pants. And I will deploy... The UES Hoffman, the knight class the cargo vessel. Face. Okay. So it's Graham's already got one that gives him a victory point. That's so then I, but I lose credits equal to the card's cost, which is two, so my credits go from five down to three. Right. Um, uh, place a card in this perspective sector, take it and deploy it. Yeah, and then uh, that continues. Yeah. And the player who draws the card with the highest sector number is the starting player. Yeah. All right, so I got a three. Okay, it's basically the exact same as Graham's, uh, except it's on the three slot. And this is the UES Tomeo Mendez. You say Tomeo, I, I say, say Tomeo. <laughs> uh, and this one costs me two. All right, uh, Adam. Adam, what do you got, buddy? You got to beat a four if you want to go first. Damn it. A ten. Holy moly. And uh, whenever he rolls that, it, it what's it called? Seven bucks. It's the UES Cerebrov. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, you got to beat a 10, Ian. Okay. And well. I put this here like this. Yeah. I so you, d you, d you deploy your 10, you put that on, on the on your 10 on slot. Space Dock 10, and you uh, lose two credits. Mm -hmm. We've got the. Ooh, it's a six. Mm -hmm. It's the UES Ivan Chinkov Paul class. Cargo vessel. A Paul class. class. There you go. Goes Bring that into your MMOs. Right. Nice. I want to play a Paul. Right, so I'll lose four for that, taking me down to one defender. and stick it in uh, my so six hole. I also made <laughs> Don't say these things. I made this saying that. <laughs> version on the on the overlay. Hey, look at that. So you can swear, hopefully hopefully it doesn't it's not more confusing than hole. necessary. Yeah. Very up. See, there we go. Well, I mean, uh, there's there's right. twelve different holes I can refer yeah. to. Yeah. How much was you? How much did that cost you? That cost me four. Wow. All right. It's expansive. So trip. then, so that so Adam got the highest dock. So thing. Adam is. So you're the starting player. The starting player. You get the starting player card and nothing else. Yep. Ian, you get a credit. Hey. Oop. I got two credits now. I get two credits. Do I mm -hmm. keep the so three I'm credits? At five. Now? Hmm? Yeah, you, you, you those state yeah. where yeah. they are. Okay. And Ben, you get an, one influence or one in, one income. I get one income for being the last the yeah. last player. But what no did credits. You get, Ian, what are you at? Three. Yeah, okay. two. Two. Okay. Two credits. All right. Zero income, zero victory. 
So Ben doesn't get any income or any credits, but he gets one But I income. get one income. Yeah, that's yeah. super cool. It's not bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think this should be all ready to go. I'm keeping it that open just because it's like... Smart. All right. Um, I can put it down here if you'd sure. like. Okay. Uh, without further ado, Adam Savadan, it is your turn. So I take the dice. Take the dice. You do that. You I roll a six. I do that, DM. So, okay, so I can take six, which mm -hmm. is one credit, or yeah. I can take four and two, which is actually two credits. Yeah, which, yeah. at the beginning, it makes yeah. most sense, so I do think. We do, do we do a active player, non-active player yeah. thing so with that? Yeah, that's what I think. I choose mine, I pick that, Ian, you get to pick now. Well, no, no, we, we still no? need to finish your turn. Oh, so, so, no, 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 like you're you... reacting to, yeah, to these. Yes, to do that's that. what I'm doing. So, uh, six, uh, I'll take my six, which will give me two coined... No, oh, wow. one. One coin. One Six coin. happens one to coin. you. Actually, you actually yeah. on the first turn got your uh, your outgoing. Mm -hmm. cool. Pretty wild. Okay. Uh, you know. Oh right, you do yeah. too. I got a four, so I'm going to take my one credit. So Damn, I and I. Oh, I. I. Oh wait, that's no, three. Nine. That's the number in between these two numbers you rolled. So I get nothing. Okay, and then I can buy something. Well, I have to buy something. You don't have to. You don't have to, but I mean, you can you save your money, money if you want, you want to win the game. Because the money goes away at the end of the turn. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. Doesn't only so only as soon as you. It? So that was sorry. That was a rule that I forgot to mention. Oh, I so because the rules I read or watched were like, oh, it just goes away. Yeah. Goes so away. how it works is you can either choose to buy or not to buy. If you don't buy, you keep your gold. Uh, if you do buy, regardless of how much money you spend, you can only buy one thing. It all goes away, mm -hmm. even if you overpay for it. There oh. is one caveat to that, hmm. and that's when you run into cards that give you the ability to. Buy ships. Yes, that's the only time you buy for the actual value on the card. Yeah, you are a very poor negotiator. It's apparently, very yeah. odd. So You're in like this case, Adam's got five. Yeah, and so he could buy uh, literally everything in the first ships. row, yep. yeah. and they all cost yeah. three. So no matter what, yeah. Adam would still have zero at the end, even though he's spending five. I, I I'd like you though. I like yeah. to imagine that you just walk up to like <laughs> the, I, the the starting to ones. Buy a starting ship. Okay. You just walk up to like the the ship place and be like, "Here's my wallet. Tell me how much this costs." Yeah. How, much, how many candies can I buy? Take with this all much? of this. All right. right. So, all Ian, you're up. Okay. Sorry, this popped out. Hmm? Nobody has had any. Oh, I guess I'm still the same. Yay! Three and a four or three and a one, which yep. makes four. Well, I'm gonna take. Uh, actually, I'm gonna take the three and the one. Because that will net me a total two, All right. taking me up to five currency. Uh, I'm going to do the, co the combined four. Yeah, I get a credit. I'm at seven. Nice. I have actually a three, so I get uh, one. And Adam's got nothing. <laughs> All right, Ian. All right. Next uh, stage, I've got five currencies, which means I'm going to buy a ship. And I'm going to buy a ship that's what the ship? Yeah, I'm going to go down to zero currency and purchase this ship right here. The UES Popov. Excuse that's, me. That's some. Pop, he's popping off. He's popping off. It's a Herbert class mining vessel that goes in my eight slot. Ooh. Herbert. Oh, okay. It wrote, it wrote Dune. It, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, th I think most of these uh, ship names and class names are references to. No, the, 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 the Tolkien class cargo cruiser. Surely, yeah, surely, surely not. not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, the Paul class is a Dune reference as well. So, though. all right. So Ian's ending his turn, which means he flips the thing back over. Ian spent all of his gold, even though he was, you know, buying only a three cost thing. Mm -hmm. And we have a new card that we haven't kind of seen before in the marketplace, Ooh. which is just revealed here. So it's this mechanic. is a yes. So this is a fun new mechanic. So this car, uh, ship costs five, slots into the eleven spot. And the arrows indicate that whenever you activate this, you get the rewards of the cards that are beside it. Both of them. Both of them? Mm -hmm. To the left. No, hand. you can move it. You can move it. Yeah. So if you what? roll, if it rolls an eleven, that means you can choose to be that. You can go. Oh, someone rolled an eleven. I rolled an eleven, so I could, then I can activate the twelve. I want it's to the be one, twelve. You, you can activate either one next to it. Oh, it's not yeah. both of them. You don't get both. Of them. Oh, okay. You sorry. get just to yeah. shift the, your. The you increase your odds of getting. Right, Whichever yes. One to the the slash gotcha. always means either or, according yeah. to the rules. Oh, okay, sorry. I think I've just seen the example of the two. Yeah, all right. All right. That'd be so good. You get both. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. A 10. Cool. Hmm. Well, Thanks, Graham. I guess as it is, it 
Uh, Ten, baby. Or five twice. Dang. <laughs> so I can I can go five and five, which will get me two credits, well, which is not actually five. super useful unless I'm saving up this turn, because I already have seven, which means I can buy a level two ship. Yeah. Uh, so I think what I'll do is I will go with the ten, which gives me one income. Nice. Uh, and then I'll let that finish resolving. So I got nothing. I get three space bucks. Ooh. Holy moly, good for you. <laughs> good for you. Thanks. Thanks. Nothing for me. Thanks, cool. Dad. All right, I got seven credits. So I'm looking at these number two here in the shipyard. I need to read a couple of these. What's this do? Swap your two and eleven sectors. Space Weird. bucks. Weird. So that's only when it's. It has to be charged up to do that, mm -hmm. though. So this is yeah. So this is a number ten. This is this goes in dock ten. Yeah. So whenever ten rolls, I get I still get four credits regardless. Mm -hmm. But then I can put a charge cube yep. on it. Yeah. And then when I when ten gets rolled again, I can put another charge cube mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. And then at any point during your turn, during my yeah. turn, I can remove both of those charge counters. Yeah. Correct. To swap my two and my eleven. Yeah. Only uh, during your turn. So yes. to me, what that indicates huh. is that because the eleven is a notoriously hard one to roll. Yeah, no kidding. Whereas uh, two has. There are lots of ways to get a two. No, there's oh, one right. way. No, no, there's because right. oh, right. anytime any two gets yep. rolled. Yes. Yeah. On the two dice. Okay. There's okay. a nice chart in the rules actually mm -hmm. that gives you a. <laughs> oh, is there? Cool. Uh, so that could be cool. Uh, this one. So it's just two, quickly, what does the uh, the red nine. side of that card do? Uh, so if it's if it's deployed, I get four credits, and I set one. I set a die. I can charge it. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a red charge, so and I can charge it if an opponent rolls the rolls uh, whatever sector this is deployed from. I can set one die instead of rolling it mm -hmm. so on the, your turn. That seems pretty sweet. So what? But is setting a dice? Oh, like I can choose what number what it rolls. It I can be like this oh, okay. one. Yeah. And I, that, that power also requires one charge cube? Yep. Uh, that That's one well. requires one, yes. Okay. So there's this one, which gets me two credits, and I charge it and charge it again and can blow those off to swap sector four and sector nine, mm -hmm. which is cool. And then if this is upside down, I can buy a card for two victory points? Is that what that is? You buy No, you can buy a card and get two victory points. Oh, cool. Okay. Mm. Boy, there's so many options. Or I can just go for like that one, which is 11, and I get eight Ooh. credits and an income. I should also point out, Graham, on that other one that you've got there that uh, you're not holding. Yes. Anytime that one is rolled, when you're placing a charge counter, you also get four credits. Uh, is the way that that works? Not on. Which, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. 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 That, yes. that, that happens regardless. Yeah. Boy, there's so many. I, uh, this, again, it's my first time playing, obviously. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Buy what you feel. Claim three. Claim three level one cards. What does that mean? I just get to. Do you know? Get. I just Nova get to right. take yeah. those. Claiming, yeah, is is like buying except without any cost whatsoever. You just take. Wow. So yeah. this is. So yeah. if I do this, this is a. This this goes in bay twelve. Yeah. So if someone rolls twelve, mm -hmm. I put a charge counter on this. Well, on oh, yours. No, sorry, if I roll twelve, I put a charge counter on it, and then I can use it to just get three level. That yeah. seems very powerful if you roll it statistically well. improbable. Yeah. It's also later in the game, uh, those will actually be a lot worse than whatever you have loaded in already, right? Like the level one yeah, exactly. ships are by and large worse than the 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 higher level ships. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go for this one because at least I get um at least I get four credits. Yeah. <laughs> When, when Regardless. I think, I think it's sweet, because 11... Uh, chat's going through it, and there are 11 ways to roll a 2. Uh, okay. I mean, i got to get to the point where I get There two. are 11 ways to roll a so 2, and 2 first, ways to roll 11. First, I need to roll 10 twice mm -hmm. to get two charge counters on this. It's all over the place. All anyway, right. so yeah, I'm going to buy this. Kay. That's all my credits. I'm back at 0. Uh, I'm going to... I put this in dock number 10. I'm going to... So this is the uh, UES... Rosdetvensky, the Silverberg class command tug. Tug. And I'm going to send out the Dunbar, a Scott class mining vessel. Uh, I'm going to deploy that. So that's three if somebody rolls a ten. Going out to Spazace. In and case it in case it isn't obvious, the the ones with the higher numbers are generally better, like yeah. the in the higher slots. Yeah. Because yeah. of course they show up less. And so that is going to be my turn at the end of my turn because I have one income. My credits go back up to one. Yeah. Cool. All right. And I'm oh, what color am I? Uh, you're boop. Thank you. I'm enjoying space craps. Yeah, all right, here we go. Roll 10. 
I get in I get a six and a two. Um Hey. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I So I could either do a two or so I guess in this case it's it's better for me to actually make this an eight because my eight gives me three, whereas opposed to a six and a two each give me one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to activate my eight and get three credits, put me up at Apparently I was at four. I I believe this. I'm at seven, I guess. <laughs> I'm going up by one income thanks to your roll. Okay. Of Ian's six. Up at, or what are you doing, Adam? Nothing. Okay. All right. At Ian's going up one income. What do you have? Uh, not one income. One currency. Currency. Sorry. Sorry. What what happened? You rolled a six. Ben I got a, uh, uh -huh. six, a six. So I get a two. single currency for that. Oh yeah. No. Nothing happens for me. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. So it's purchasing time. Um. Oh right. We've also forgot to. Did reveal. you gain any? Did you gain any credits? This turn? On no, on the last couple turns. No. So then you probably were at three because oh, this, no. this cost so, you two. So I, 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 sorry, I have once. Okay. Yes, I have it. Ha I have activated this once. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah it was then, on. Yeah. Okay. Then, then that was incorrect, and this sorry. was right. So yeah, you're up at seven. We're replacing this after uh, Graham uh, bought something at the end of his turn. Oh, uh, sorry, my bad. Which is it's just a gain three. Neat. Nice and, nice and simple. So I've got seven. So I can also buy one of these fancy dancy ones. Um. I feel like the more expensive ones. Are better. Yeah. But I could be wrong. Um, I'm going. Oh, this was. So this one, New one uh, sits in the one slot, which is kind of wacky. Does it? How do you roll a one? Oh, right. There's two. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We just we just went over this. Grant. There are many ways to roll a one. I mm -hmm. just realized that this is. They've they've kind of made a board game version of like a clicker game. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I like it. No, this is. This has been my experience with craps, though, as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put your bets down. The fact yeah. that you can use the combined total or each total is a is very cool. Huge. God, yeah. Huge, I'm gonna I'm huge gonna huge buy answer. this this one that just gets you credits. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I think the one is actually a pretty good slot. Yeah. Um, and it also puts my this uh, this out to <clears throat> my this out into space. Sweet. This is the UES uh, Warden. It is a fate class cargo vessel. Nice. Uh, right. So that is all my dollar reduce. Hopefully, it'll stay around for more than one night. Yeah, so you're, you're <laughs> down at one then, right? Because you have your you have one income. Yeah, and I go back up to one because I've got one income. That was very weeby, Ian. Good job. Yep. It's, and it's one, one every four. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Only one. You get one. You keep him relegated to one. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I say do one, we, but we cannot make that problem. Or we yeah. go on break and we have a talking to with Ian. When we're on Dice Friends Protocol. Yeah. yeah. I see. <laughs> Adam. Yeah. He's got the power of God and anime on his side. There, God, there's our Every time reference. that kid screams, I laugh. Yeah. Don't fuck I was missing me. you last night. We were talking about what what uh, streams were coming hey, I up. I rolled a one. Oh, yeah. And uh, Kathleen was playing roommates today. And oh, I was like, yeah. and they were roommates. Uh, I'm going to take five and one. So right. I get two space bucks. Two space dollars. Space dollars. Ian. Ian? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So one and a five. One, one and a five. five. I don't have either of those, but I do have a six, and I'll take that. Okay. And go up by one space buck. One I, space dollar for Ian. Nothing happening over here. Mm -hmm. You get three. No, uh, you get one. I get one. My my just most recent purchase coming into uh, fruition here. Instantly paying off. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Yep, sorry. I forgot to flip that. It's the... <laughs> The Filipchenko, a Harryhausen class mining vessel. Nice. <laughs> and it's in, it's in the 12 slot for nine credits and one income. That's spicy. It's, it seems pretty good. Uh, what does this one do? Uh, so that's the okay. one that swaps the uh, positions. Four and nine? Yeah. I want a spaceship that, like, moves in stop motion. And then what does this mean when I... If I slot it in somewhere? Oh, the Sulaco. Well, that's your... That's what that's, but I mean, like, it if it's deployed... If it's deployed, yeah, and someone it? rolls it, then you then you, you can, can put a charge, charge counter on it. And on your on. turn... You can buy a card? Yeah. So the blue... The easiest way to yeah remember is, like, red is on not on your turn, blue is on your turn, green is whenever you want. The classes are sci-fi authors, yeah. Speaking of someone of. who frequently has to create <clears throat> people's names for things... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll buy uh, the seven. That probably... That probably alleviated a lot of stress from the creators of this game. They were like, wait, we can just reference sci-fi authors. Awesome, we don't have to think of names for these so, bajillion ships. Yeah. I have ten, but I spent seven, but I go down to zero. Correct. All right. And we flip a new one. Yep. Which is, ooh, that's a four top. U.S. 
Kubasov. Kubasov. You, when you charge it up, you swap your five and eight. Hmm. Ooh, hmm. Interesting. All right, Ian. Hmm. All right. Attention, fellow gamers. So, so the idea is that the 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 squares that have the dots in them are only used if you have that many players. Yeah. Yes. Because I guess it comes it around be more, more powerful off. in those. Yeah. It comes around more often mm -hmm. in yep. less people. Yep. There is no anime beyond this point. That's a five. Uh, I'll take the one and the four. Okay. Because I want two in or two. Space bucks. To four credits free cool. in. I have a four, so I get one. One, and uh, my one paying off again. Getting another. And yeah, nothing right. for Adam. So now I'm up to four space bucks. I think I need to buy a thing. And. You could. I mean, I, I, I'm going to. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, well. Let's. You know what? It's going to happen sooner or later. Mm hmm. Let's grab. Actually, let's grab this nine. All right. It's going to throw the UES Van Hoften into, Off into space. deployment. And the nine <laughs> hole is now filled with the UES Ivanov Herbert class mining vessel. Which gives you a three, three and a and one. Income. The, uh, the replacement ship is the UES Remick, and I can only think of that episode of Next Generation. Yep. This, is, this, this is a sci fi existence. game. That was uh, 35 years or 31 years old just the, earlier this week. Wow. The only episode of Next Generation to be banned uh, in South Africa. Oh. Huh. Banned in South Africa. Huh. Yo, this one. No one's paying off. Yeah, holy moly. Ooh. Cool. I'm going to get the. So I could do I could do the combined five, which gets me one credit. Mm -hmm. Or one. I can do the four and the one, which still gets me a credit and a victory point. So hey. I'm going to do one that. Punch. So I go to three credits, one victory Graham's point. winning. I'm winning. Uh, right. I will take that one. Cool. This has been AFK. Thanks everybody for watching. Retire Champion. Yeah. Uh, cool. Adam, Sorry, Ben, you got nothing. nothing. Ian, nothing for me. All right. Um, so now, now it's the question of just do I save up or do I hold here? Mm -hmm. I think. Sorry, do I save up and hold, mm -hmm. comma, or do I buy something? Hmm. <laughs> Map board games, I've tried to do that so many times when watching streams. Oh wait, I can't pause this. It's not a VOD. <laughs> so like I could if I could get that. I mean, 10 you can you can pause it, you just can't fast forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is which could be it could be interesting if someone rolls a ten. Yeah, I, I mean you get actually, a lot of stuff. Then I get to actually like do that. Um and that just seems more exciting, so I think I'm going to do that. Heck I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm going to buy that middle one. Can you pass it over? Yep. So three credits. Which one? Oh, the middle one? Yeah. Cool. So this is the uh, UES Lyakov, a Herbert-class mining vessel. So this goes in dock 10. So I'm, I'm actually not going to do the swapping the 2 and the 10 thing, because I'm immediately deploying my Rozhdedvensky. Mm-hmm. Man. So this is now... So if... if, if the anyone, 10 gets rolled. If anyone rolls a 10, I'm getting a lot of credits. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, and I get, and if someone rolls a ten, I get to put a charge counter on it. So both those ships are now deployed. It definitely does seem like you want to try and get as many, especially in a four-player game, just because so many dice are getting rolled. So right? you get to you get to charge up, even in even on not on your turn. Without. That's what the red yeah. means. Yeah. yeah, is that if someone else rolls rolls a ten, I put a charge counter on it. Then on my turn, I can use that charge cube to set one die instead of rolling it. Yeah. Which is, I guess uh, that's just cool. for mm -hmm. you. Oh, on your turn, right. Yeah. 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 I, 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 don't, I don't believe there's any limit to how many ships you can deploy. Nope. nope. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I love the idea that it's like, oh shit, my, my space dock is full. I'll just send the ships out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just go out there yeah. and look Deep for, space, look please. For stuff. Yeah, this is uh, not a sustainable plan. Uh, replacing uh, that is the UES Shaw, which is another one of these... Uh, Little mining ships. Wait, yeah. That's a reference to the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> uh, at the end of my turn, I go back up to one credit. Right. All right. Go for it. My turn. Roll a uh, ten. Roll a uh, ten. I got a oh. four, five and a four. Um. Hmm. So I could. God. What do I want? So close. Mm. Well, technically, it's not that close. Adam. <laughs> what? 
I'm just trying you to keep, temper you keep, expectations. You keep doing you. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to temper I, expectations. I feel like there's a right. there's a real danger of like the the like bias. It's like well, a lot of people have been rolling fours, so oh, maybe right, I'll yeah. go for one in the four people slot. Seem to like four. <laughs> I'm activating yeah, yeah. five and four, uh, so I, I get mean, two credits. You should here. just take cool. six and seven first, right? Because that's the Adam. Do you have anything no. to activate here? I do not. I'm taking the nine, which takes me up to three space bucks. Nice, nine, nice. nice. And you got one. Uh, yeah, I get one. Nice. Okay, uh, I am actually going to purchase uh, this doohickey right here that slips into my. Uh, it costs me four, and it slips into my five. Slips into your five mentions. Section. Um, Slides into your five. <laughs> this is the UES Remick, and it nets me two uh, coinage when it when uh, it's on my turn, and then I'm going to send this guy out to space. Who allowed my Apple Watch to tell me the news? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm no, so I'm... mad now. Uh, we have got the UES Dabrishnikov, uh, which is a Paul class cargo vessel. Ooh, oh god! What class was the one you just did? The, the Shaw one. Uh, the oh, Remick is a Paul class as well. Yeah. All the Paul classes are like circular. They all look like the uh, the was it the Bozeman? No, not the Bozeman. The uh, they all look like the, the the next generation ship with the the sphere at the front, the oh, science the, vessel, the Oberth, mm. the Oberth class. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And my oh. gold goes back up to one for my income. Not Oberth, Daedalus. Sorry. It's mm. now Oberth Adam's was the turn. The one that, that has the saucer in between the nacelles. Right. Dang it. Oh, Nine. sorry. This was a five. Whoops. I. But I think that ball is actually yeah. more. Uh, was, was it the Odyssey? I, I got a nine. I got a nine. Uh. Oh, cool nine. I'm gonna take. The nine and get an income. Okay, Adam gets an income. Five and four. I will also take the nine and get in three uh, cubes. Take me to six. I do the four. I get one cube. I'm at three. So what you get? Okay, six. Um, and you're getting which? Sorry. I, I I I use the four, so I'm, oh, I, get, I get three. one credit, and I go, yeah. up to, go up to three. I'm going to use that five and get a credit. Go ahead. But I can't buy anything. I don't have any money. All right, but you now have money because yeah. of your income. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, Mr. Yeah. Horner. I can't. No, I feel really bad because I can't remember the ship, the name of the ship from 2001. Hmm. Uh. Right. Uh, I've never seen two. Yeah, either. Those are like, I've got three numbers. That's Neither it. of those are good. Those don't help me at all. Okay. Yeah. The discovery. Six and a two. Thank yeah. you. Yes, that is it. Mm. That's that's Howl's what I think house. of. Hal's house. Not the ox. Asks. Not in Hal's house. Yeah. Who's house? When, I, Hal's when house. I see the round front of the ship, that's what I'm thinking. House. Mm. The ox asks, "Do the LRR folks Run's present have house. any thoughts about the news going around about the publicly placed portable urinals in downtown Victoria?" This is, it's not... Is that new? This is, so that's, there's, there's a, there's a, no, no, this is a, this is a new program with different, this is the longest in a long, this is the most recent in a long line of attempts at public urinals in Victoria. This is not news to us. It's just like, oh, they're doing, they're trying that again? Okay. Yeah, they, they did that, uh, maybe even five or six years ago. They, they, they've done it at various times. I remember being real drunk downtown and peeing in one of those. The like the standing ones yeah, yeah, yeah. with like the four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, these are different. These are like smaller. Yeah, smaller like, mm-hmm. single serving. Uh, what'd you take, Ian? <laughs> uh, single serving. So I'm gonna take, I believe, the eight, which was gonna take me up by two, uh, two cubes, and yep. also give me one currency. Damn, Ian's popping off here. Nice. And now it's time for me to buy. Professor Von Pop. Take you up two and one. Yeah, so I'm at eight, uh, eight space bucks and one income. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's time to buy, 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 buy. It's taking that down to zero bye, bye, bye. bucks, and I'm going to take the cube that allows me to claim three level one cards. Wow. Okay, that seems pretty good. And I'm going to send the UES Popov to deployment. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, replacing that a UES Oops. Gorbatko, nope. a Clark class mining vessel. UES pop off, commence popping off. My apologies, this goes in the 12 slot. I'm sending the UES spring. Ah, okay. Out. UES spring, commence springing. Damn, five on a 12. That seems pretty good. Uh, all right. Oh, pretty hard. And then your income is one? Yes, so you're back up at one. Ian, you oh, get one. Wow. Hey. 
Come on, what did I get? Three and a two. Man. That doesn't help me at all. Uh, okay, three and two. Three and two. Or the combination Four. five. Uh, I'll take the three and the two. Actually, it doesn't even really matter because if I buy something this turn. Oh no, there, there's a five there. Look at that. All right, three and two. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use both of them. I go to five credits. Okay, let's uh, sort all that so, out. So, funny enough, uh, I have nothing in the three, but I have something in the two and the five. That's the three. Or, or, right, sorry, no, I meant the two. I have nothing in the two slot, but I have something in the five and the three slot. So, it's, so it's like, way. it's either way, it's you, still you one, one. So, yeah. I'm, yeah, I gave one. I got nothing. Nothing here. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> so. So I can, for five credits, I can get another ten. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Just load keep, up that ten. Keep stacking up the ten slot. It'll it'll be sweet when it gets rolled. Uh, or actually, you know what? I could also buy that eleven. Yeah. That has the arrows, so uh -huh. that if someone rolls an eleven, I can go. I think you meant ten. Yeah. Which I think I'm going to do. So, so that doubles that your one. chances of. Yeah, three. exactly. Or Seems pretty good. So this is the UES double? Thornton. I don't think it's double, is it? What are the actual chances? So, Thornton? Someone can run the numbers. Uh, the numbers the, don't lie, Samoa Joe. So the O'Connor is getting deployed on number 11. And theoretically, if you get a good thing on uh, 12, that'll also help with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, right now, if someone rolls a 12, or wait, no, that doesn't no, no, that doesn't make a difference. But if yes, you get a good yeah. thing on 12. And they roll an 11, I can go, it's actually that And there's one. a lot of good things on 12. So, mm -hmm. this is, right, so right now, this is not if someone else does it. Right now, because this is the one in my dock, it's if, if you. I roll an 11, I can go skirt and go that way. But if I do eventually deploy this, then if someone else rolls an 11, I can... Okay, i got to keep it in my head how this all works. All right. It's your boy's turn. I'm going to roll. I go back up to one credit. To one. I get a three and a four. Yes. Dang it, um, finally. Hmm. The, the highest likely number to be rolled pays off for Adam. I'm still sitting on these outliers. Who could have guessed? Who um, could have guessed? <laughs> so I can do a seven and gain three gold. Uh, or I can do a three and a four, which would get me a uh, victory point and a gold. And that's actually what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to go four and one. Uh, Adam? I got a seven, so I get two gold. Nice. It's all coming up at him. Yeah. Been tying up the game. Uh, I have a four, so I gain one credit. Nice. All right. Uh, I am going to... Spend my dollary dues on uh, this guy right here, the uh, the dis the Zanny Bakoff, uh, the Paul class vessel. I'm filling up on Paul class vessels, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sending out the Shriver into space. Beg your pardon? The Shriver. What did you call me? The Shriver. Ah, oh, Mia. Uh, spending all my dollary dues oh, here. Oh, Mama Mia. Uh, I go back up to one at the end of my turn, and I'm replacing this with. Uh, the Romanikov, which is a two slot, and uh, gives you two when it's uh, when it gets rolled. Adam, I, I don't mean to complain, but yeah. we're an hour into this. And you guys have one victory point out of forty. Yeah, it yeah. might take a while. An I, hour. Well, we started. A little bit. <laughs> I feel like things are going to ramp up at a certain. Yeah, point. yeah you're probably right. <laughs> is it now? Is it now that we ramp up? Oh man, it's popping off oh, for me now. Man. Oh yeah. So I got four and a one. Yeah. I a four bucks. and a one is coming. You get two dollars. Yeah. Okay, Ian. I get nothing. I get a four. I get one. I go to three. Uh, both my one and my four have slots. I'm going to two. Nice. Um. Hmm. That'll really help me. Uh. Sweet. It's blasted off again. Ding. <clears throat> I'm gonna. Ooh, Jesus. I just beat the. I'm gonna buy this one. Mm -hmm. Number three, so I spend all of it. You beat the eighth gym leader and let's go Eevee. And he's just like, you know what? I'm actually done with this. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. Yep. It's like, oh, all right. That was Pokemon's easy. great. You're just forcing like, I, I, I actually yeah. hate Pokemon. I'm hmm? out of here. That's yeah. all I can do. <laughs> okay. And a turn, I get a thingy. A dollar I do. Nice. And we get down the Ryuman. It's a one to give two credits. Ooh. Right. You took the thing I wanted. I did? Yeah. Dang it. One and a three. All right. I mean... Uh, boy, that's great. I'm going to take the one and the three. All right, we get two? Up. Yep. Uh, I take the four, Yep. and I go to four. Uh, I've got a one and a three, so I go up two. Okay, uh, let's... Thank you, Corvus. I went from an 8.3% chance of rolling a 10 to a 13.8% chance. Damn, Corvus. 
Good math. So if you combine that with my 33 and the thirds percents chance, yeah. <laughs> I the knew it was still coming. Why? <laughs> I can't. I can't <laughs> not. Your, yep. your spaceship is a fat ass. Yep. <laughs> I am going to buy. <laughs> sure do. It's got a big dumper. <laughs> wow. Thank you for that. I'm going to buy the uh, reference to community, the U.S. Chang. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm okay. sure that's what that is. Oh, yeah. 100%. And put that in my three slot. All right. Deploying so you deploying the U.S. Stewart. So you spend all your money. You got no more Chang that's left over. My dad. Uh, ooh, okay. We've got the U.S. Marbold. It's a uh, seven slot. It gives you one and the one to your to the, oh. the uh, right of it. Or the That's pretty left good. of it. Ooh. Right. The right of it. <laughs> it's hard to do upside down. That's real good. Uh, mm. Mm. All right. <laughs> so Decaped says I only know one percentage based joke. That's not Luckily, true. 50% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> <laughs> two and a four. Dang it. <laughs> yes. The two pays off. Take my, Give me my single dollar. dollar due. Same. I take a dollar. Sorry, let's do this in just because yeah. I'm updating the overlay. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll take I'll take both. I'll take the two and the four. So I get one credit and one victory point. Nice. Okay. Uh, I have one. I have a four in there, so I'm going up to six. Adam, what'd you get? A dollar. A dollar you do. And Ian? I took the six. Take me to one currency. What? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm. I'm going to. Oh, man, the seven. It's like the numbers one to six show up more often than the higher mm -hmm. up numbers. Weird, hey? That's why I'm like considering that one that goes into slot one, but maybe that's. Well, that's the thing. So the one to six slots are pretty highly sought after things, right? Because no matter what, you're always going to get something, which is why I'm spending all my things filling them up. Yeah, I think I might do that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my turn buying the uh, the one you just put down there, the one that goes into dock number one. Yeah. I'm gonna deploy the Peyton, and I'm gonna dock the Ryuman number one. What? Replacing oh. that. Ooh, is a UES Barker it fits in the ninth slot, and it's a uh, left or righty. I go back up to oh. one credit. Wait a minute, with the nine and the ten, infinite loop. So. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, funnily enough, in the manual it says uh, a note on infinite loops. Nope. <laughs> wow. A, a, yeah. nope, a nope on infinite loops? Yeah, yeah, right. you just can't. <laughs> uh, Mangle Pixel brings out I should have two space bucks for having an income. Ah, yes. 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 Uh, speaking of income, you go back up to one, and now it is my turn. Go Ooh. for it. All right, so off of my turn, I managed to accrue $6 from all this. Yeah, yeah, I've just oh, been keeping going in here. Uh, so there's a six and a two. Um, so I'm going to take the Man. eight. Two is a good one. Uh, together, which nets me three. So I'm at nine. Uh, Adam, what are you getting? I get a dollar. Get a dollar. Ian? I'm also taking the eight, taking me up to four dollars. One, two, three, four. Mm -mm. Oh. There. Mm -mm. And you got nothing? Nothing. So I got nine dollars. And I'm seeing that nine that goes in the six slot, and it's looking real juicy. So I fine. think I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That seems appropriate. So what does that guy do when it charges up? So this guy, uh, whenever it charges up, I swap my five and my eight mm. sector cards. Cool. Um, and I'm going to send the UES Bushili off to... Uh, off into deep space. You gotta hit that. What did you call me? Bushili! You, you gotta hit that four times before it charges up, though. Right? No, twice. Crew oh, right, twice. Sorry, yes. yeah. mm. uh, so there's all my dollars. I accrue one for my salary at the there's end. The and Tuscan Raiders. Place this with. I used to be with poutine. Yeah. Now this, I'm hungry. No, this right. is the, me too. I want poutine. Mm. This is I the want... U, UES Bean. <laughs> it is a Harry House. It's a Harry House and glass mining vessel. For some reason, I'm craving KFC. I don't know. I always crave KFC, but I know that after I have KFC, I don't feel good. Yeah. So instead, K when I very crave KFC, I get Korean fried chicken. I was going to say, if the K and KFC isn't Korean, I don't want it. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I have that foo foo. I'm pretty sure the reason why you're you're craving foo -foo. KFC is they've spent hundreds of millions oh, of dollars so in making you crave yeah. KFC. Mm -hmm. Adam, your turn, bud. I'm always hungry. Well, if you finish this game, you get to eat. I concede. You get to eat. Three and a one. That doesn't help me at all. Uh -huh. 
I'll take three and a one for two space bucks. I'll take okay. the three for an extra space buck. Mm -hmm. uh, if I take the one, or if I, I get one. Either way, I get one. Okay. Uh, I take the one and the three, and I get two bucks because I got one or four. So yeah. Uh. What do I want? I can buy I was doing something different. I buy the 10, I don't want that. I was doing massive attack. I can buy the 9, and then that way, if someone ever rolls a 9, I always get a 10. That's what I'll. I'm going to buy that one. Okay. Five bucks. That's all my space bucks. Five dollar reduce. So here's a question. Yeah. If Adam has that ship deployed and I have this ship deployed, mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't change the number on the dice, it, right? Or wait, I mean that's a bad example. But so if two players both have stuff deployed in the same, on the same number that lets them move it, that just moves it for them. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, replacing that is the UES Lichtenberg, a Wells class star cruiser, and it is also one of these scooty scooty ones. Scooty. Ian. Life is pretty German. Roll a 10, Ian. Ian. Lichtenberg. Oh, God. Oh, that's just as good. That. <laughs> yes. Dang it. Six and a three. A nine. Yes. My purchase paid off. I wanted this game. This game is so bad. <laughs> All right. Six. Oh, I got a, a currency, sorry. For yeah, I got it. Yep. I also told you it. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Weird. I was thinking about KFC. Yeah, me yeah, I'm going to take my straight nine, which will give what me... What thinking about? KFC. KFC. <laughs> Three more space bucks taking me to eight. All right, one eight more, bucks for Ian. One income taking me to two. Ooh, okay. I've never had pump. Uh, do you have I anything, nothing. All right, I get two always, basically, unless there's a two rolled. Now it's time to purchase. Right. Adam, what do you get? You got to roll the nine. Yeah. So that means I get... Well, I mean, you roll the nine, so I get three, but I could get three. No, 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 no. Right? No, because it's not in it's your It's not turn. deployed yet. Oh. Yeah. But I still just get, get three. three. You get three. Yeah. Just get three? Yeah. Cool. Right? Because Nearly. this yeah, is on your yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just as good, right? Please stop talking about KFC. I'm trying to enjoy dinner. <laughs> no. No. I'm not going to buy anything this turn. Saving his dollar, he does. All right. Whoops. So, Ian, so this is an example. Ian does not get his salary because he did not go below the threshold. 11? <gasps> I rolled an 11? Oh, snap! Did I really? Yeah. Oh. Sick. Yeah. Well, actually, it's less on your turn. No, it's not, because I'm going to say I rolled a 10. Yes, but you only get the 4 and the 1. That's, That's fine? No, okay. Oh, no, t definitely. No, like I wanted that. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry. I like the, 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 no, the stats. Roll so I rolled an 11, and I'm going to... So I can choose to make that a 12 or a 10. So I get 4 credits going to 6 mm -hmm. and, and, and an income going to 2. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to take the two credits from my five and my six. I get nothing. I'm going to take the six and gain a single credit going to nine. Yep. Um, so can you explain to me? Yep. The one over there in dock seven. Mm -hmm. That's you get a credit and you move it up one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So your credit and whatever's beside it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is neat. I like that. Uh, Your seven have... slots looking empty too. Yeah, so. I'll have one of those, please. <laughs> Your seven slots looking real empty, Graham. Maybe you should fill it with don't, something. Don't say that to me out loud. How dare well, you? Don't talk to me or uh, my number slot ever again. Ooh, What's uh, this? This is the U.S. Gardner, which is a Williamson class command ship. Mm. Oh, okay. So this is a really weird uh, ability, and I'm trying to remember exactly how it works. But basically, so you can charge it when you roll a six, mm -hmm. and then at uh, any time. Because the green is at any time on your turn. Uh, there's actually a reference ability right on the back. Yeah, the green is any. Double. The green is uh, any time. Period. No. If this ability shows only one arrow, then using this ability means you gain the rewards one sector to the right. If the ability shows both one arrow and two arrows, you may choose to shift the sector you receive one or two. Okay, so that's that is mm -hmm. uh, used when allocating dice, and only the these abilities can only be used when allocating dice, and only if you choose to sum the dice. Right. So, so, so only if you sum the dice to make six. To make six. Does this go off? Can you shift it one? And it, okay. Yeah. And you also have to have charged it. Why is that yes. good? 
It's it's better than not. So you can make your six a seven. Correct. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. I probably won't. Uh, so it is. You finished your turn. You're back at two now, right? Uh, I'm just gonna scoot your stuff up here, Graham. Um, and uh, now it's my turn. That can also be used on your opponent's turn. So mm -hmm. you, oh no, you need a six to charge it, but you can use it on any summed dice green. roll. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it, yeah. Right. So if they yeah, so you you need a six to charge it. Yeah, but then at any point in the game on any die roll. Yeah. If your opponent does it or if you do it, you can say, no, it's I'm going to blow off the charge counter, sum the dice, and it's actually one higher. Right. Okay. Interesting. And when it's, that is that is fairly yeah, powerful. Whatever the summed dice. And was. when it's uh gone. When, and when it's out uh, in deep space, it's the same ability, but it costs two to charge it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Neat. Um, Speaking of six. I love seeing those twos. What did you do? So, all right. So I rolled an eight. Dang it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to bad. I'm gonna choose a six and two. So first off, I'm charging my laser. Oh. Then take one of these charge cubes here. Uh, and I'm going to gain one. I gain one. Okay. I'm taking the eight to take me to 11. Six Perfect. and two does 11? jack for me. Okay. Wow, what's it like to be part of the 1%, Ian Horner? So... Or 25%, I guess. Uh, it's actually very good, at it. Yeah. <laughs> I highly honestly, recommend it's, it's a good time to be part of the 1% if right you could, now. If you could accumulate the means, I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> why not just save your money? I'm spending all my money on space avocado toast. That's why I can't afford They're my victory points, and I want them <laughs> yeah. now. I recommended you pull yourself up by your space bootstraps. Yeah. Yeah, and just go get a what space are you job. What you trying to say, Ian? You, you, don't need space suits. Uh, you don't need to pull yourself up. You're in space. You just <laughs> float. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you trying to say I don't space work very space hard? I mean, everyone floats up here. Yeah, we all float down here. I, I do like uh, um, avocado, avocado toast class ship. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually not going to buy anything. I'm going to save my money, too. Bold. Oh. Save my money. Save money. All right. Come on. What's in your wallet? That's a 10. Yes. <laughs> oh, it happened. Finally. All right. So uh, let's go around in, in a pion, second. Pion, pion. I take 10. I got seven space bucks. <laughs> so you're, you're at 12. At 12. Yeah, maybe. Damn. Uh, all right. Well, I'll take the six off that to take me up to 12 space bucks. OK. Uh, I get a chargey thing. Can yep. you ask me a charge cube? Ooh. And and seven space bucks. Jesus. All right, Ooh. nine. That's pretty good. Uh, and I will take the six and the four, and I'll be at ten space bucks. Oh. I'm going to spend my 12 and buy this one. The one percent got, like, crowded suddenly. What did that guy do? Pew, pew, pew. It, get, it gives you... It uh, gives me... Four on a one. Four on a one. Yeah. And I get one every time someone... And it is replaced by a PSS Nikolaev modified pole class. Claim mm. one level three card and one level one card. Okay. Whoa. That's P Strunk. P Stonk indeed. Uh, that's all. That's my turn. Mm -hmm. And I get. I have an income, so I get a dollar. Nice. Hey, Tilty House Raiders, welcome. Hey, welcome, people. Thank you very, What's very much up? for the raid. Wait. What is up, kids? The Tilty House is coming from in the stream. Thanks for coming home. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll start off here. A one and a three. <laughs> mm, well, that kind of well, just one and two. Yeah, this is really good. It's the you one to six is always good. Yeah, because it's always going to be rolled on the dice. I'm going to take the one and three. That'll give me three and take me to fifteen space bucks. Uh, I get either of them. I go. I get one and go to eleven. Okay, uh, I'll take. Uh, Two space bucks. I get oh, sorry. Jeez. Okay. No. Mm. I guess I get a dollar. So you're at what, Adam? I'm at two space bucks. How? Yeah. Uh, Ian has all sorts of fancy things he can buy. I yeah, do. Yeah. I'm. I'm really. Don't space spend it all in the same space place. You know what? Yeah, <laughs> we are gonna actually spend it all. Yeah. Well, you have to if yeah. you're buying anything. Yeah, exactly. Right? So what are you buying? You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to roll the dice. An attempt. Oh no, that's only on my turn. Never Roll, mind. Rolling the dice is literally everything in this game. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm gonna grab the uh, the, the big boy. All the right. UES Isel 
Frizetta class carrier that gets me. Oh, it goes, yeah, it goes cool. in slot eight. And it gets me six victory points on my roll. And then when I deploy it, it'll get me three points. Six victory points on your roll. Damn. Yeah. All right. And it's being replaced by the PSS Popovich. Mm -hmm. uh, that whenever it gets rolled, uh, you claim two level two cards. It sits in your 10 spot. And I'll use my income from the beginning of... Oh, yeah. And then when it's out in deep space, it does the same move, but you All have right. to charge it. Yeah. Uh, so I could, do, I could set one of these dies, but I don't actually need or wish to do that this turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to see what we get. Double threes. Three and Doesn't help me at three. all. So I guess with the setting, does that happen? Can that happen after you roll? Or I don't think so. Let's check. So which, what's the question, sorry? Well, this ability that I can set a die instead of rolling it, I assume that's before the roll, right? That I like, I go this, this, I go like this die is five, and then I roll the other one. Well, so you have the ability so. to activate these whenever you want. So in my opinion, like, because the, so there's an activated ability. I think, yeah, you'd have to do it on before. Because there's a, a chance to activate abilities before the dice roll. That it has to be. I can only activate it on my turn. It just charges on the opponent's. Yeah, right. But there's an activated uh, chance. There's a chance to activate abilities before yeah, dice are rolled. There, there is there is a a very set order of operations. But but and you can't but you can't activate abilities because the moment the, yeah, dice the are moment rolled. you scoot through yeah after the dice are rolled yeah these ab setting dice can only be d done during the roll. This must be done before you roll the dice. So instead of rolling a die, you choose. So okay. If you, yeah. So because yeah, I guess yeah. I guess waiting to roll and then if either of them are a five or a six, That's you just set the other one. Way more be powerful. Way, yeah. yeah, be way too That's powerful. Way more powerful. Yeah. So three and three. Uh, that'll be cool. for me. It'll be boop boop. So I go to okay. thirteen. Boop boop. I will also take a boop boop. I'm just gonna read both of them. And I'll, I'll take a double three. Options. So that takes me to four. Is that four? Yeah, because I have income. I right. Have. Yes, the income. Sorry. Ah, oh, the income. So because I'm at thirteen, not fourteen, I have a few lesser options, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend it all on on the Nikolaev, the pole class tug, in my eleven slot. Mm -hmm. So if I roll it on my turn, I get to claim a level three and a level one card. Jesus. Uh, but uh, more importantly, I'm deploying the Thornton. Which means if someone rolls an eleven, mm. I can make it a ten. Mm -hmm. okay, that's nice. fresh. I really hope you get you roll that eleven naturally, just because it's gonna be it's gonna feel real good to pull three ships. Yeah, to just randomly claim stuff. Yeah. All right, uh, this is so being I go replaced. back down to two, basically. Two. Why did I, why is my why did I set my income on three? That can't be right. I haven't touched My, my income is yeah. two, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's replaced by the UES Komarov, which uh, it slits in the, sits into the two spot. Uh, and it's three victory points when it's in, or two victory points when it's not, which is actually seems pretty sweet because the rate of rolling a two is quite high. Yep. Uh, all right, my turn. I rolled a Man. four and a one. Stop. <laughs> Th that specific combination, combination is bad. It, well, it's it's happened a lot in the past couple of rotations, and it barely helps me. Um, I'm going to take the. Is there anything that costs me 19? The <laughs> statistical balance of like oh, which slot it fits that into, is? and then what benefits right. no, it, it gets. No, it was correct. It's very interesting. It's supposed to be like this. Yeah, it's got a logo on it. Yeah, on the other side of it. Well, it can't. Oh, yeah, it just, that's it. That's that's the, yeah. It was working fine. It's right. not, it was functionally does the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. It's getting knocked around. The Don't part, worry. The part we can't see is yeah. now better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Dabs IRL. Uh, oh, right, sorry, no, three and one is the problem. Four and one is actually great for me. This is actually not amazing Four on my turn, because, so I could take... Four and three. Uh, five it's gold, I guess. I'm at 19. Uh, what do you got? Do you have a four and a one? I have a one. I get a dollar. Okay. Ian? I ain't got shit, Captain. I have a four and a one. I get a space buck and a victory point. Space buck and a victory point. Okay. So I've got 19 dollar dues. Wait, no, you only get the victory point on your turn. Right. Sorry. No, I get two coins. Yeah, sorry. Someone, I would, sorry. Wow, Graham. I listened to chat. Mm. 
You done cheating? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Anytime someone makes an honest mistake, it's not cheating. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I didn't mean it like that. No, it's okay. All right. You can literally buy anything you want. Don't worry, Black Wolf. I do not blame you. I okay. made the same mistake myself yeah. several turns ago. It's all right. It's all good. We the all world is your mistakes. oyster. Mm -hmm. We didn't make mistakes. Yeah. In fact, we record all our mistakes. Yeah, we do, yeah. I've been streaming magic. I make all kinds of mistakes. Ooh. I have no moral high ground. I was watching you stream. It was nice. My brain is fried, though. Hmm. You could uh, you could buy one of the, like, colonies. Buy a colony, you coward. <sighs> I don't know if that's great this early. What are you at? Currency wise, because the colonies, the colony yeah. just is you get that many victory points and then nothing else happens on that square. Yeah, yeah. so like that's mm. like that's end. Game. Well, the mm, uh, yeah. we've reached the end game. The things totally. happen like they get sent out into space, but you probably want to set it up a little bit more. The key, yeah. yeah, like the problem is these don't replenish. So as soon as you grab one, it's gone. Mm -hmm. That's true. So it does reward the person who grab it first. Um. It's interesting. I don't actually have any I, any conception of like how far along in the game we are. No, me neither. Because you're correct in that it's definitely going to accelerate. But how fast? It's like going bankrupt. It happens very slowly, then very quickly. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, it's sort of the opposite of being bankrupt. I'm going to claim this 10-1. Cool. Uh, so I spend $13, but I go to zero. $13 reduced. Uh, fits into my 10 slot, so I've got the PSS Popovich, because I'm popping off. Sending this over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adam, I feel like I'm sitting next to a number station here. Yeah, uh, replaced by the UES Walker, which costs 14, gives you three victory points when it's in, two when it's out, but it fits in the one slot. Ooh. That's a nice At push. the end of Ben's turn, goes to one. Yeah, that's why. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a I message go to one. in my, my cereal. It says, ooh. Yeah, you go to zero, and then you go back up, technically. It's weird, because you're eating cornflakes. Yeah. Ten. It's a six. Five and one. Oh, that's really good for me. So if I take I take five, and I get one, and I take one, or take one, and I get four points. Mm -hmm. And then I get another one. So you're getting five? Yeah. So you go to eight. All right, Ian? I will take, that's a six on the roll there. I'll yeah. take a six, take me to five dollar dues. Okay. I get a one, so I got a five. Okay, and I get two. Uh, okay, so what does this one do when it? So on on your turn, yeah. if you roll that number, you can charge it. Then uh, at any point on anybody else or at, on anybody else's turn, you can take the sum total of the dice if it was on that one and change it to one up. Is that what it is? Well, sorry, what was it? So okay, so this one is yeah. so. Yeah. If someone, so if you if you roll a six mm -hmm. right, when you when, when you put that in your dock, you roll a six, you put a charge counter on it. Yeah. Then, at any time, because it's green, so mm -hmm. it can be on your turn or on the opponent's turn, you can, if you sum the dice, move it up by one. If they sum the dice, or if you sum the dice, if you have to sum the dice. You, ah, okay. You can't. You can't say. Like, if someone rolls a 4 and a 3 for a 7, you can't say, that 4 is actually a 5. You have to take the sum. Right. Okay, I get it. For so that, a 7 is actually an 8. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of, good. I think it's kind of Seems good. You can get uh, level 2 stuff, mm -hmm. though, right? Yeah, how many? You got what? You can afford eight. anything yeah, you can in afford level 2. Yeah, you can afford any of these. Yeah. Half the world is your oyster. Two thirds of the world is your oyster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. I'll just buy this eleven. Let's see what happens. Mm. Cool. It's been replaced by the UES Swigert, <laughs> which Swigert. Yeah, which is in the seven or the eight slot and gives you five credits and one income. Cool. All right, Ian Horner. Let's Bye. roll. Twelve. Oh. Twelve. Oh no. Okay. Well, you charge it. I, yes, exactly. Yeah. I, I. Well, yeah. I get to charge my laser, and now I get to move to the buy step. Okay. Twelve so you... and sixes don't do jack for me. Uh, I take two sixes, I guess. Love it. All right, Ian. Bummer. So what does that twelve do? 
He can use it on his turn too. Well, if the next time I roll a twelve, I can. No, no, no! no you, you can, can just use do that. that. You've charged you it now. You've charged. You just yeah. do it whenever you want. You're right. I can claim three level one cards. Holy so can you just do that now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or you can wait until there's better options. Up to you. I'm, uh... Good talk. <laughs> I mean, all of the level three Excellent. cards are kind of boring right now. Excellent sounds. Boring yeah. is not necessarily bad. No. In fact, no, they're all like... identical, aren't they? Eight will take They're all three me... and twos. Eight doesn't help me much. Eleven might help. You know what? I am not going to use that, and I'm also not going to buy this turn either. I'm just going to ride it out. All right. In it. Graham, roll a 10 or an 11, please. I mean, I also want that. Five. Four One and a four. Four, five, I guess. Uh, oh, that's actually fine for me. I'm going to take the one and the four. So I get two... You didn't buy anything, Ian? Nope. Okay. I get two space bucks, go to seven, and a victory point. Go to three. Uh, so I have seven now, so I can get the victory one points. I take the one oh, and no, the four. Wait, it's your, it's your this is actually one. my yeah, turn. It's your one. Doing it correctly this time. And Ian, no. nothing? Nothing. All right. Um, so, let's see. There's a nine there. I don't think I want the 12. As cool as that would have been nine, just nine, now. Nine, nine, nine. What's this one do? Uh, you can charge, charge it up it, and then exchange it with any I other card. The, that old where they take that speech on your board, the, yeah. So I can like, uh, yeah, you can move, move that yeah, Hitler over down thing. to the mm. nine slot. All right, stuff. that's a good meme. Yeah, Sorry, a good Ian, meme. your yours is yours. Yours is three level. Three level ones. Claim three level one cards. Oh, okay. Sorry. For some reason, I thought it was level threes. No, no that would be ridiculous. You thinking about getting this? I'm trying to figure out the use case things. for it. So, so it's such in your nine slot, right? Yeah. So if someone rolls nine, so no. So first of all, if I roll nine, it charges it. Then anytime I can. So like if someone rolls something, I can be like, blow off this thing, swap it with something else, so that the thing that I want actually gets hit by any other card well, on so, the board. So yeah. It's on the on board. your. So you can make this your one, and then swap it over and like just start doing all kinds of wild. Business with. like you can bring this way down your board if you want and yeah, make some of your I'm crappy ones go out. higher. Yeah, I I guess that's useful. I'm trying to figure it out. It's yeah, it seems like it's a long kind of dealio. Yeah, um, you're playing the long game with that one. The, you've reached 12, the end game, Tony. Nine. I feel like this is one of those games that you spend like forever Eight. setting up, and then you start just start accruing stupid amounts of points. Everything starts happening all at once. Um. Hmm. It's still 10? Yes. Which is to say you can do both. Mm. I, uh... Yep. Yep. I agree. <laughs> I'm not, I, maybe maybe later. I'm going to same. Uh get the, I agree. <laughs> the number 8. The yeah, yeah. Eight number dog. 8. Okay. Number this eight. is the Swigert, the Harry Housen class uh -huh. vessel. So I'm going to swagger. De deploy the Acton. Jack Swagger. In slot. Noted and MMA that brings out the fighter. U.S. Hayes, Harry Housen. Ooh, eight. it sits in the seven. Get a four and a one. Number Interesting. Eight. All right. My turn. You go back up to two. Roll a ten, please. Yeah. Or an eleven. Or nine. Go for it. No ten. Eight. Eight? Hey! <laughs> Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. Hang out. I'm happy with eight. Um, so I'm going to take uh, one and the charge on uh, the, block. the UES Kobasov. Yeah. Uh, which means now, if I'd like, I can swap my five and my eight cards. Which. Ooh. You want to do that? Maybe. I'll see. Um, Adam. Know, Adam, what'd you get? I got a two. So I got a dollar. It, you have nothing in your eight slot right Six now. more dollar dues take me to 11. I do. Six? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Four seven. and two. Wow. Sorry, what'd you get? Six more dollar dues take me to 11 dollar dues. Yikes. Okay. Uh, I get two. I'm at four. Okay. I thought the seven would really pay off, but it hasn't. Statistically unlikely. Yep. It's the most common number. Uh, six is the most common number. On two dice? Seven is more common. So six is more common than seven. I'm going to go 327. I... 
Let's take a look. What's up? It's I'm pretty sure seven's more common. Than nor, seven, is seven is more common seven. in craps, but in craps you can't just choose to use yeah. one dice rather seven than Seven is the most common. Oh, it roll. is. Six is, yeah, by yeah. one roll. Yep, yeah. you're right. <laughs> I'm playing the odds here. Mm. I'm not getting rewarded. This game sucks. Wamp. Well, we are using oversized die in a tower design. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, true. Uh, all right. So I've got eight dollar dues. Um, Nine, six? I should go all in on seven. Does something fit into my eight slot? Well, it depends how you put it there. Hmm. How big is your eight slot? Hmm. So put this in. Are you looking at buying an eight and then swapping? Yeah. That could be cool. Ooh. Especially seeing the only eight slot I see on the board is the, uh, the arrow one. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so if I did, but the arrow being in my five slot doesn't do a ton. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just... Mm, is there anything in the five slot, though? We'll go up to eight. You can't overcharge the charge cubes, right? You can. Uh, you can't, like, put more than one char charge cube on the same? Yeah, I, I think once the slots are full, you cannot... Hmm. And you only use those other ones if there's if there we if there we're in those games, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it's like a capacitor; you can't overcharge it. And then I guess theoretically, if you have enough of the arrow arrows, like if you you could just like arrow have like a whole bunch of ones that are arrows, just, and then just stack <laughs> and then stack everything up on one number. Yeah, just and make that files. Yeah, and then make that really in. common. Yeah, make that you know that could be really interesting. put everything on like. You know, six so or something. If I put this out into space, uh -huh. <laughs> if I launch this into space, what happens? Well, well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so you want to launch this into space, correct? Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like like you could, if once you you know if you knew what all the cart the kinds of cards yeah. and things, you could set up quite a uh, little machine for yourself. Basically, so, turn your board into Robo Rally. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Just like. Oh, they landed on this square. Dot, 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 I, dot, I like dot, the idea of yeah, just focusing into one and then nothing turn but your, like <laughs> turn your space dock into a conveyor belt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to activate this okay. before I buy, and before I'll you put, buy. Yeah. Interesting. Like this, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so I could buy this. No, wait, okay, so is, where's the, isn't there a five one on here? Nope. Oh, it's way up there. It costs you 14, yeah, which you don't presently have. Don't presently have, indeed. Uh, Hingadora, we've played Robo Rally on AFK before. Mm -hmm. Quite yeah, enjoyed it, Once, actually. I think. Did we? Yeah, I think we've only yeah. played it once. Mm. It was back in we the, We also uh, played that, right, the LOL. It, it was back uh, in the previous Moon Base, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it didn't go as well as it could have. I think, I think the, we, we, uh, the, the, how the, uh, actual, like, design of the level was a, maybe not ideal, but mm -hmm. it was pretty fun. Um, if I recall, everyone fought each other, uh, except for Heather, who just was like, yo, and just ran. <laughs> Turned out to be a great strategy. <laughs> Sometimes. Weirdly running really fast happened, it worked really well a lot of the time in that moon base. I'm going to just not buy anything this turn, I think. Ooh, all right. Go ahead. So you still did the swap, though, eh? Hmm? You still did the, the, did the swap? Yes. Eight. Eight! Speaking of which. Ooh, I'm do anything for me. a little bit pissed off. <laughs> That's really good for Ian. <laughs> yep. I gotta stop rolling eights. So, uh, what do you get, Adam? I get three bucks. Okay. Ian. It's gonna take me to $17, dude. Holy moly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I get two, oh, I go to six. I also get two, I go to ten. Ian's rich. Mm. Uh, I have six bucks. Six bucks, hey? Mm-hmm. Uh, man, I'm going to buy this eight. It's got to be good, right? You know, it gives me more chances to get a ten. Yeah? Wait. Yeah. Like, really, anything get... that can send things... More chances well, to, get to get a, get a nine, nine or a seven. Well, it but, keeps shifting. Right, yeah, he has conveyor Oh, you have a double shift. Okay, yeah. nice. You're, you got the double shift. Yeah, so I'll do that. 
Hey, what is it? Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. That comes back with a in the five class, US UES Alexandrov Williamson class command ship. Cool. Oh, it's another one of these dice rolly ones. Uh, who's winning? Uh, technically Graham, but really we don't know. Yeah, it, this is one of those games where it's like it it it, it, it all comes together at the end. Mm -hmm. basically. It's a mystery. It's provocative. Do, it gets do, people do, going. Do, wow. Do, all right. Do, do. <laughs> what? No, this is a really good reference. Is, <laughs> it, is that your turn? Yeah. All right. It's Kay. Ian's turn. Ian. Top of my turn. Before the dice rolling, I'm going to activate an ability. Oh. Yeah. Claim three cards. That makes sense. These can you, three. Can, can you do that before you roll? Yeah. That's, oh. That's the first of the activated ability yeah. phases. Oh. On the flip side, though, it doesn't replace any of these until the end of his turn. So that's going to throw that up to there. I can, Does it? Yes. Oh, because you picked one with a 12? One is a 12. That's the USS Hermasvesky Herbert <sighs> class mining vessel. Uh, by the way, that other one now means that uh, when... I can claim two, one level two card when cool. I charge that up, which is rad. Okay. The 10 is the US, US Shaw, which is now here. That's a mm -hmm. big And that makes the, that makes three. Big turn for Ian. And then the 11 is going to be going up. You have 17 it. space bucks right now? Yeah. Jeez. He's space yeah, rich. He's well, space popping he, off. He keeps hitting the eight. Yeah. And now that I've done that. Now you can roll. Now it's time to roll. All right. Now that I've stacked my deck. Smart. Six. Five and a one. That's a six. Uh, five and a one for me are none lousy. of the things that you just did. Wow. So six will take me up by two points. Oh, I get nineteen space bucks. I get one. I'm at seven. Okay. I get two. Twelve. I get one. All right. Two for Adam. All right. Buy a base, you coward. God, I. <clears throat> They're all terrible. Well. They're yeah, victory they're all, points. Yeah, they are victory points, but right now where I'm looking at they're they're all in the uh, the range where I could potentially use mm. use them. Mm -hmm. Like I'm at 19 and that would mean I could buy the 18 which is my four slot which is still pretty useful. But then that just shuts it down. I, Putting the colony seems like such a end game kind I of know, thing. I yeah. know it, it does. I like, I don't want those You've just yet. The end game Unless I'm of. hitting like and even that I don't want right now because I want to grab more level 2 cards. <laughs> Putting a, uh, Why did we install well, you, that button on your soundboard? <laughs> I don't putting, know, but putting a victory. I can't I, help it, man. I just every time I hear it. Putting one of those ones that give you victory points in a low slot could uh, be good. Actually, you know what? To be honest, I almost. I like that all the level three ones are the same class. Right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. all at that stage. You know what? I'm going to just hang on to my space bucks right now because huh. I bought a lot of ships this round. Space three bucks. But if you, okay, yeah. yeah. All right. We've also got a the brand this time. Jesus. For a tour of the outer th Thagard. Uh, okay. And the ride, which I believe is named after an actual human huh. being. Those Catch all do the ride. same thing now. Sally ride. In different slots, yeah. Oh yeah, they all do the same thing. And roll no. a 10. All the ones and all the threes eight. do the same I thing. I literally can't see what I rolled when <laughs> Paul goes to the top. Okay. What? Oh, Stop rolling to... eights! We're making Ian richer! Ah, oh, damn it. I totally forgot that I meant to... I had a plan to set, set my dice. Wait, I have set my dice there, but... I'm an eight! I'm an eight. <laughs> uh, did I just goozle myself? Ugh. Dang it. I'm so six. stupid. All right, well, eight is okay, because I get what? five bucks, and I go. so I go to... 12. I get one. And I get two. I get an income. I go to 25. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. I do that. Yeah, I do that. DM, I do D that. DM, I do that. Uh, You're just going to buy something for like $3 and you lose all of money. <laughs> just the biggest flex. <laughs> Probably going to happen, but. I just got to remember to use my mm -hmm. ability next turn. All yeah. right. Um, there's a 12 there. So I guess if you use your ability, you want to lock in, lock it into a four, five, or six, right? Because you want a ten. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, well, not I, I, I want a ten on their turn. Oh. I was gonna do it. I was gonna do it a little differently, but that's oh, fine. Interesting. Um, you have so many space books. Can you lend me some? 
<laughs> Yo, can I, I'm, I'm, I'm space broke. Yeah, I'm space I'm broke. Little, I'm, out I'm a little space light at the moment. <laughs> if you... You're full of space beans. Wait till you oh, see, no! Wait till you see my space interest. That means I'm a space liar. You don't. You, when it's going to be arrow, a. You don't oh. have to use the arrow, do you? Hmm? You don't have to use the arrow, no, do you? It's an activated ability. Okay, but like if like oh, if, if I deploy no. my number yes. seven. Yeah, that, no, that, sorry, those ones are yeah. You yeah. have to. You have to. Yeah. Well, if you. Okay, well, that's so weird. Number seven. No, number seven. You get the one, and then you also get what's on. Right, yes. but it. it you deploying this means that this, I ne the two never happens at that point. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. You get oh, everything no, yeah, yes. in it, and. We move to the next yeah, that's, thing. That's, what, that's why I'm getting six off of an eight right now. So this would go up, and you get three, and you move over. No. Mm, really? Yes. You get both? You yes. get everything in that area, and you scoot on the next Guaranteed side. 100%. Yeah. That's why so, I... So, you're going so that if way. one of you rolls an 11, yeah. I get four... And you scoot over. And? Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I thought you got... I thought you moved it. I thought you only got whatever it moved to. No. no. That's that changes super the game. relevant. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's why. I, yeah, I've been stacking. That's a big deal. All right. Cool. Um, space boat. Space boat. Space, space boat. Do you need to employ space? Mm -hmm. The order of the cards in above the the dock doesn't matter, right? Like it's not like they get activated in order. Uh, I don't think so. No. Um, no, because of the side, the, the the push ones are things that happen in addition to everything that happens on that. Okay, I'm gonna. Sp I mean, I'll end up at three at the end of turn. I'm gonna buy uh, the number, the furthest level two there, the number yep. seven. Yeah. And replacing it is the UES Schweiss cart. It's a four that just gives income. How quaint. Mm -hmm. All right. My turn. It's slightly more orange than the US B. Three and a one, which some people call a four. <laughs> three and one. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, three dollar dues and one victory point. I'll take a dollar. Dollar. Wait, a three to one. Three to one. I'll take the three and take a dollar you do. All right. 26. Uh, one dollar, Bob. I'm at four. Okay. So I've got 16 bucks. I'm going to buy this. I'm at, ah. <gasps> I spent a big one. Cards. Buying this thing. What does it do? Uh, it gives me vict three victory points whenever I roll a six or two. That's pretty good. Sending out this thing into space so whenever I roll a six, my income can go up. Open, open that does a thing. Adam. Yeah? What's it to you? It's your turn. So uh, just three points. All right. Maybe Less confrontational than I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four and two. That doesn't help me at all. That helps me. Oh, wait. That equals a six. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Math! All right. So Rocky four plus Rocky three what, equals Rocky seven. What, Adrian's Revenge. What are you taking? Uh, does that do any, anything for you? No. Well, on your own turn, yeah. Well, I get a two. I get three space books. All right, so you get seven. Eight. Ian, I'm I'm at eight. Eight. I got eight. I myself at eight. Did you miss an income that I got last turn? I don't know. Did you tell me when you made it? <laughs> I think so. All right, eight. I'm taking the six, going up to twin or twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, the four gives me one. I'm at five. Okay, I take one gold and one income. Uh, uh I have eight I bucks. Get two, I guess. Because. Yeah, right, because I would have been at one, yeah. I need a four. Yeah. I'll buy this four. I do that. Okay. If your income was at one, then you're at two gold. And then, yes, yeah. So I spend that, and then I get an income. I'm looking at your track. Sorry, I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm doing mine out here. One. It's too many things for me to keep track. You're at one. Yeah. What is this, Ian? It's my turn. Do it. What is the thing that you flipped, though? Well, what I flipped was the, uh, well, two cards. First off, Holy the crap. UAS Glasgow, which is an Asimov How'd class. How'd you flip two cards? Because there was one missing from the two stack as well. Ah, okay. And that gets you ten on your turn, or four victory points mm. on someone else's turn when it's deployed. Wow. The other one was the PSS Baikovsky, which is a modified pole class, 
claim one level two card and one level one card. Dang, cool. On a nine. Roll it. Unless you're doing something before you roll it. I have nothing to do before I roll, so let's do that. Roll. Nine. 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 Dang it. Yes. Oh, wait. Three and six? Also nothing. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay, Ian. Ian, what do you get? I get three. What a I'm complete taking whiff. 30 okay. space bucks. Mm -hmm. Graham? Nothing. Uh, I get uh, a bunch here. I actually get uh, two gold and another income. I get three. I go to four. All right, Ian. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, are you okay? Good talk. Oh. I guess everything over like thir or 14 space bucks doesn't matter because you only buy one thing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that, that's why they have Unless the you're going list. for the big stuff. And oh, really yeah. Really, really lean over and skirt your what's it's. Thank you. Buy one of the space bases, you coward. You want people to think you're a space coward, Ian? I don't want people to think I'm a space coward. Well, but I do. I can barely handle people knowing I'm an <laughs> Earth coward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a whole new level of cowardice. Yeah. I really... Surely, Graham, once you get to space, you'll find confidence in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Of course I will. It's like Dragon Ball Z. Like, why is the gravity so high? Because I need it's keeping down my ego. No, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm training at ten times Earth self esteem. Did you run that as a? Uh, <laughs> did you do that as a six and a three or as a nine? Uh, as a nine. Oh, well, you, you get an income then too. If you put that oh, in. you do. I get an. Oh, yes, I do get an income. So I'm at the three income. Three income. Three income. Cowards in uh, space. I'm going to. I think. I'm going to throw away a bunch of space dollars. All right. What are you buying? Space base. Space base. I'm going to buy this slot in the four zone. The fazone, as we call Yigorov. it. Yigorov. The fazone. Yeah. Anyway, that you go away. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thanks, Corvus. Go to the zone. And... The auto zone. Wow. It's that not a very good zone. <laughs> Ah, claim two level one cards from the PSS Tereshkov. Hmm. So yeah. All right, so I'm going to see how this pans out. This is mostly just because I want to try it. Yeah. So I'm going to use my charge to set one of these dice at six and four. Four. Oh, you set one dice? Yeah, you set one die and set Oh, four. okay. If you could set both, that'd be great. That would be very powerful. Yeah. I guess so, if you had two of guys who did that. I want, I want you to get that 10. Because basically, mm -hmm. setting it at 4 means I get a victory point. Yes. And then, depending on how else it rolls, it's not bad for me. Yeah. That seems... Yeah, I so like it. So, I'm just giving it a shot. Yay! Hey! 10's good for everyone. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's still good for everyone. Okay. All right. So what do you get? You sounded so disappointed. Well, so that's the thing. So I can either do a four and a six, which yep. gets me a victory point and one thing, uh, which is not enough to buy a level two, mm -hmm. or I can get four credits and an income, which is probably the smarter move because income just always pays out better, unless I wanted to buy one of those small ones, which is probably not the case. With four, I can buy a level two. So... Yeah, so I'm going to get four in an income. So I'm at nine credits and four income. All right. Uh, I'm going to take two coins and one income from the six and the four. Uh, I get three. One, two, three. Ian? I'm going to take the ten, which nets me three. Take okay. me up to six. Yeah. So Grizam. Then I'm going to buy... Um... Mm -hmm. Wait, do you get money for using that charge? Which charge were you using? Oh, you know, but you, for it, no, 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 that's just on, a... no, I don't get money. I get money when that gets rolled. When I, if, the charge, the charge cube was there because someone rolled a 10 once. Yeah. And I'm just now removing it to activate mm -hmm. the ability. Right, it's just, the, okay. It's yeah. just, there's also a coin on the. Yeah, which I believe on. happens not on his turn, right? It's oddly. I think you, do I get the? I think you get it when you. Yeah. Because, no, that means I probably shouldn't have got it when the charge cube went on them. Yeah. Correct. You get ah. points when you use it. Oh. Well, we have no way to roll that back. That's okay. 
Who cares? I guess that's why that's why it's over. When you, in that well, you section. used it this turn, right? Yeah. So okay. Get, so yeah. You get the four. So, uh, okay. So, oh, I, so I'm at thirteen then. Yeah. Okay. So that changes your uh, your stuff. The ability says you gain coins when you use it. Okie dokie. Cool. It's, well. it's, it's in the blue side, which means. That but yeah, so there's no way for us to roll back that Graham got four cards when we rolled it. But it may not have even. Sure. It may not it's have even fine. been relevant either, depending on what happened that turn. So. Um, we got thirteen. I guess I will. So I can either do the number eight and further deploy the eight, which is pretty hot. Yeah, let's do that. I like that one. I'm gonna get. The, I'm gonna buy this one, the Tereshkova mm -hmm. modified pole class tug. This one is gonna dock at eight. That's gonna go into space, making a roll of. Meaning, if someone else rolls a seven, it's quite spicy for me. Yeah. I'm definitely like siloed in several different roles that. That's probably worth it. Several different individual roles that are very good for me, and a lot that sort of whiff. <laughs> this is replaced by the UES Collins, which I believe is named after the Tom Collins, which is a Moore class fast tanker. Uh, place one charge anywhere, oh, then okay. move one of your charges to another open charge spot. Neat. So, huh. me. Uh, me, me J or me hey says uh, there's some of these that have the coin symbol outside the activation ability. Those are gained when the charge is interesting. Added. Yeah, okay. it's 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 smart the way they design it. The, the placement. Yeah, works. yeah. Twelve. Double six. Oh, that doesn't help me at all. Yeah. Uh, double six. So nice. on my turn, I'm going to uh, just double six it, yeah. and I'm going to gain uh, uh, six victory points. I don't have anything Ooh. for what. Wow, Ben zooms cool. out ahead. Nice. Yeah, I don't have anything for... Uh, sorry, it's not even my turn, but go for it, Adam. I don't have anything. For, for 12, I'm going to put a charge counter on yeah, here that's... and also take 5 currency, putting me at uh, 11. Yeah. I have nothing on 12 and nothing on 6s, so this is... Poop and whamp. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I've got 6 bucks to spend, if I would like. Um... Which one of the things that do the exact same thing would you like? Yeah. Hmm... Um, I mean, if you put it in the right spot, it could be very helpful for you. Hmm. Is there a two? There is a two. I'm inclined to take that one. Um. God, these are all not great. Yeah, sure. I'll spend four. Or I'll, well, I guess I go down to four at the end of my turn, really. Uh, to buy the two slot guy. And. And it's the UES Ride. <laughs> ride, Sally, ride. There we go. Okay. Officially, no matter what is rolled on the dice, I will always get something. That's my hope now. Well, it's, it's a fact. Uh, and yeah, that's my turn. And get replaced by another one of these ones. Goes in the one spot. It's the UES Fabian. We it's did, a Williamson we, class. We did shuffle these for whatever. I, yeah, yeah I, I did. Uh, all right. Adam, your turn. Nine. nine. God. Oh, sweet. Nine. Dang it. So I got nine, but I'm going to shift it to the ten. Yep. I'm going to get seven bucks. So Adam goes to 14. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ian? I go to 14 bucks. I have okay. nothing on three, six, or nine. Uh, so I'm going to take two coins and another uh, income. Uh, what was this one? Uh, Gassity Gaming, we know what those green spaces do. Is it? Are you asking us what those green spaces do? Because I can tell you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Want to know what those green spaces do? These ones, what these little with green the two dice spaces? and the arrow, they all mean the same thing, which is that if you take the dice as a sum, you can move it one space over. Mm. That's once. That's when you blow off the charge. I buy is five. Sure. Replaced by the UES Glen. It's a Russell class tanker. Uh, you can char if you put a charge counter on it, then you can place a charge one charge counter anywhere. Yeah. And when it's out, same thing. So this lets you. This is for the charge build. The whole shifting around the charge counters is an interesting. Mm -hmm. Again? I gotta pee, man. I've been drinking water all day. All right, we're gonna take a quick break here while Adam Savinet, because Adam Savinet has about to go time to, the to bathroom. take a break anyway. Yeah. All right, don't go away, friends. More space base after this.
Hey, welcome back to AFK here on the Loading Ready Run Network. I'm your host, Ben, and joining me is Graham, Hi. Adam, Hi. and Ian. Your boy. And we're rocking space space. We're in the middle of the game, and uh, currently, actually, I'm in the lead, but it's Ian's turn, and... Weird flex, but okay. Yeah, just, uh, currently, I'm in the lead. Purely, purely based uh, on victory and, points. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of which, let me just... Yeah. There uh, is. And purely it is based Ian's on, turn. Purely based on the points that we use we, to, we determine to, the winner. To, yeah, yeah, winner. yeah. <laughs> Other than that... It could be anyone's game, uh, but Ian is about to pop off yeah, here. Yeah, I was gonna say let's 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 start off by popping off. Point. Yeah, I have one dollar. I'm going to exchange. I'm going to depower my charged ability to yeah. claim one level two card. Okay. And that one will be the U E S Glazkov. Okay. Which is an Asimov class expansion that goes my eleven slot, thereby sending the U S Gran. Okay. Into, into whoops, space. Into deep space. Get, get under. Brief space. aside, because I don't recall. I don't recall who, what episode of Mail Time it was. But shoutouts to whoever sent the <laughs> until proven guilty Russian Imperial Stout that I am currently enjoying. How is it? I I, I quite enjoy it. Beach tried to sip and did not have a good time. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's. Would you like to try yeah, some? Sure. It's very strong. It's yeah. very barrel aged. It it's a Russian imperial stout, so it's. Uh, it is not. Buds yeah, it's not a beer for people point. who don't like beer. Oh, I really. Oh, he oh it keeps going. Beer. It's a lot. He's, he, oh, he it doesn't tastes, stop. He no. tastes beyond what we taste. Yeah. He tastes the color blurple. Mm -hmm. He tastes emotions. And he's like, wow. He's not a super taster, is he? I don't believe he is. Good, okay. This He's is a super taster. This might have me. This might have killed him. U.S. Slayton. Mm. Nothing special. Be All right. No, 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 no. So you don't reveal until the end. Oh. Yeah, that goes back. Yeah. You, didn't, yeah. you can't it, claim it, and then, yeah. yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It doesn't matter. God. God, you're making a space mess. Yeah, you kick it over the space marketplace. Eight. Ooh. Oh. All right. So what do you get, Ian? Uh, ooh, I get six victory points. Excuse me. I get six victory points. Nice. Okay. Ian, right. six victory see? points. It's, ramp right. it's popping off now. I get three credits up to seven and one more income up to five. All right. Uh, yeah, I do two credits and one more income up to six. I do that. I got two credits. Boink, <clears throat> boink. All right. Well, I've got 14 credits now, which is just enough for me to institute a good plan. Go and on. That plan is uh, use all my... Dollary dues yep. to purchase one of these ships. Probably in the two slot seems good. Okay. <gasps> oh. uh, I was really hoping to make yeah. it the whole way around. I'm glad you and I are on the exact same yeah. track. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And that means uh, that's the end of my turn. So I'm going to go back up to three Dollary dues and reveal the new cards, one of which you already know, and the other one is. U.S. Grissom, Tucker Class Cargo Train. Oh, dang. Whoa. Whoa. Why does that have charge counters? It's got three charge counters for... Why? You to get three money. What? It, well, and oh, then, that's the... Oh. Oh. All it does is accrue charge cubes, and then you remove a cube to gain three credits. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. But if you had so, one of those oh, other ones, the light would move yeah, charge so it, counters it around. Yeah, so it carries them for you, and then you can scoot your charge counters around if you want. Mm. It's kind of neat. Mm. Seems like you're, that. It, so it's, that seems like there's maybe like archetypes to that you can well, build. Well, also it's it's like a bank. Yeah, exactly. Because right? you can just keep them on the on the ship. Bank? If you like, if I have like exactly fourteen, I'll just buy a fourteen thing. But then later on a later turn. If I have eleven, I'd be like, "Oh, I'm going to use one, cash one of those cubes in, mm -hmm. get three more." Then, okay, that's yeah. that's yeah. cool. I like that. Four or a one and a three. I mean, same thing either way for me. All right. Well, I get a victory point. Yeah. Squeet. And what? Anything else? Uh, no, because okay. four, I get just that's it. So let's go around and then I'll do. Okay, my, uh, I'm going to gain buy. two gold. I get one gold. Gaining one gold. Gaining one gold. What are you at, Adam? Four. Okay. Why? I just said you had three. Why? You got a problem? Yeah. Um, I'm at four. Okay. She can get. All right. Never mind. Here am I. All right. What you buying? Uh, I'm going to buy my the... space car. In space cars. Space car. What you need? Dan. I'm going to buy. Dan, 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 Dan. 
really my space car. <laughs> it's my space car. It's car. In car. cars. <laughs> In, In car. space. In it's space. It's car. Bum, bum. <laughs> it's just yesterday on the Let's Know. It was, girl is it so was Adam and I going, na 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 na. The other one. In one. cars. Thanks. That's the only part I know. I'm yeah, spending seven to buy the, U the UES bean. And it goes in my nine. And then this nine gets deployed. That's a Rowan Atkinson joke. Mm. Yeah. And that's my. Rowan trip. Atkinson, that comedic mm. hack. Yeah. It's the UES brand. I, I did love him. My brand. That. Oh, in Ender's Game. Go ahead. <laughs> Was Ron Atkinson in Ender's Game? I'm making a very convoluted walking joke. Oh, <laughs> game. I see. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Six and a two. Mm, that doesn't really help me out. Spice oh, yeah, it does. Eight. Eight. Six and two is eight. Six and two is eight. All right, what do you get? Uh, I'm debating. Gross for debater. Because I put a crappy <laughs> one in eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's really doing work for me right now. So yeah. I'm gonna gain three victory points. We yeah, like three points off it. One, uh, two, seven has three. Been once. <laughs> uh, so I'm at eleven victory points, and I put a charge counter in my two slot, which is this weird, the weird green summing one. Cool. So I can take this off at any time. Any time. To be like, lol, no, that's summed and moved up, or just for me, right? Well, it's green, so it's at any time. Yeah, but but well, it, yeah, it doesn't affect other people. Only it affects just affects you. for me. I'm like, yeah. oh, I take this, so it's actually eight, but it's actually nine, kind of in there. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I do that. Adam, what do you got? Uh, so if there was like a I two, get one dollar, one dollar, Bob. If there was like a two and a three, you could be like, haha, it's actually a six, which yeah. is good for me. Correct. I take six dollars going to ten. Jesus. I get three credits going to eight, and another income to six. Nice. Okay. Um. I got ten dollars to spend, uh, and what do I want to do? Um, God, I think what I'm gonna do is spend all of my money mm -hmm. and buy this in the six slot, mm. and I'm scooting this up into here into oh, space. Thanks. Thank you, Alice. I miss you too. And buying yeah the UES Slayton, which whenever I roll it gives me a it gives me three dollars, but I'm also sending the one that gives me victory points into space. I'm stacking up the six slot. It's a good slot. I think yeah. I I guess if so if, I'm, if your income gets to fourteen, there's literally no point to you having money, unless you're going to buy a base. Yeah right you can save, yeah yeah. Right? Uh, so uh, on, we've got the US ES Greshko. Uh, it is in three slot, gives you three monies or a victory point when it's out. Uh, that is my turn. Go ahead, Mr. Savadan. Okay. Uh, roll on that dice. Seven. Hey. Seven. Oh. Hey, look, seven. I like seven. Seven's my favorite. I don't really care for seven, to be honest. That's why I'm taking the three uh, and the four. Yeah, I guess. Do I even want to slot my four and nine cards? Not really. Uh, I'm going to take oh, an yeah. income and... <laughs> Our shipyards are too small. A point. So I go to Should six. Should they be one more? Each, yeah, it's there's supposed to be six ships. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Well... I don't think it's been a big deal. All right, we've entered phase two. <laughs> the real Adam, game. Adam, Adam, Adam. We're in the end game now, Adam. We're in the end game now, Tony. <laughs> hey, Ian. Yeah, now the game truly begins. Hey. Hey, Ben. Yeah? Welcome to Let's Know. I don't know. I <laughs> couldn't think of a good Ben quote. Uh, wait, that's the quote you think of when you think of me? No, I'm just... <laughs> it made sense in context. Uh, well, you know what? Good yeah. try, Graham. Thank you know what might have worked right there? We're in space. We're here. Yeah. <laughs> that's... In space. Cool technology, man. Oh, what's, the, what's, the, uh, uh, what's the one in the two slot there? This one, you mean? Yeah. That one that gets you two random cards? What? Mm. Weird. Weird. Uh, well, I'm sad that it wasn't out there when I was buying. That's I'm it. not going to... Uh, I don't want to buy something. Yeah, so this ability can be used only during your during your phase four, when during the gain rewards of your own turn, before gaining the rewards of the roll. When you activate this ability and resolve its effect, gain whatever blue rewards you get this turn for one sector two times. All those... Cool. Level one chips are ass. They're ass and a poop. <laughs> They're 
S and approve. I guess I should put something in the slots, though, shouldn't I? Yeah. Wait, any card? I'll buy the six. I mean, the, the 12 isn't bad. If you roll a 12, mm -hmm. you get three victory points and whatever you have on the uh, I'll buy a six. Fresh. I'll buy the UAS Gardener. All right. And I put it in my six slot. Cool. All and right. And I get two dollars because I have two income. You have two income? Yeah. Okay. Oh, did we go around and do that? Yeah, we way? didn't. Oh, we didn't? Uh, nope. No, that's fine. Oh, we didn't. No, yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, my so, bad. That's okay. I thought we it's, did. It's okay. No, it's fine. I'll take, Ian? I'll take two uh, for the three and the four. Okay. What do you get? Uh, I get six credits yeah. and an income. Because I get the seven, so I get these three, and then it goes skirt, and I also get these three and the income. So, yeah, yeah, you do. So I go to 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, eight, no, no. I go to 14. Yeah. Credits and seven income. Yeah. Neat. Uh, and I'm just getting two. Uh, UES Overmeyer. It, it sits in this 12 slot and gives you nine. Fresh. Fresh. Right. Roll. Riggedy roll. Riggedy, riggedy, riggedy roll. Is that a six, Eleven. Six, five, Eleven. Fresh. Well, that's a fresh ten. Taking me to 22 Jesus bank. God. Okay. I'm very excited. You get 22? Yeah, I'm up to 22. Okay. I get a lot. Four credits and then three. So I get seven credits, go to 21, and can you pass me a charge cube? Cube. Because I'm charging his laser. Yeah, take, take some yeah I, we should just have a pile over here. I get, so I, I don't get these four credits, but I do get this charge, yes. this charge cube. For later, uh, I'm going to take the six and the five, so I get uh, two monies, one more income, and another victory point, or two victory points. Uh, I get four bucks. Six. All right. Ian's got twenty-two monies. Jeez, there's a couple of really good ones there, right? Mm -hmm. now. Oh. Uh, okay, we're going to do it. We're buying the seven. Yeah? That's the USS Gordon, mm -hmm. which I believe is an elf reference. Wow. <laughs> it's a Gernsback class destroyer, and uh, when it's when it's functioning, once it's charged, all, opon op all opponents, <laughs> all opponents <laughs> lose four victory points. What? And I buy one or two cards. You can make opponents lose victory points? Oh, yes. Oh, that's wow. It's, no, it's not a May ability. Ooh. That's... What? Uh, Joke's on you, I don't I have it. any victory points. Yeah. The plot thickens. Super hateful. Are you gonna steal from somebody that's broke, Ian? Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Sounds like something he'd do. Yeah. Uh, we got the UES Cooper. It's Clark class vessel. It gives you three uh, coins and three income. On the seventh slot. Hey there, Graham. Hey, that's me. It's your turn. All right, let's try this. Um, He's gonna set a thing? Yeah, I'll set one to six. Let's right. see how this goes. You're at 25 gold. Yeah, so I go to 25 gold. Uh, we're going to set one of these to six. I like that. Thank you. Uh, you're very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that helps you a lot. Yeah. Mm. So that's, like, dangerous. But, like, basic, six plus basically anything is, is super probably good pretty for good for me. Yeah. Like, 12 is kind of a womp, but... If you put it at five, like, it's, it's yeah. not as likely to... Let's try it. Nine. Nine. All right. Nice. 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 So that's, like... Of medium help, yeah. but that's fine. So six and a th it's certainly better than a six and a three. So I gain six, and three. six monies. I go to thirty-one. Yeah, which I can't spend all in one place. I go to eight income. You have to buy a base, you <laughs> coward. It doesn't help me. Uh, so the best one he can buy goes in the eight slot. Yeah, it gets me ten victory points, but like, yeah, that's like. But then it uh, just shuts down. Right, I guess. Let's, what if? So you that was that was your resources. But what so you got? Victory? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I get um, two coins, one more income, and two more victory points. You, st you still get the, uh, get the deep space stuff, three bucks. right? One, two, three. Yeah. The what? You still get the deep space stuff three even after me, you have the colony, right? Two, yes. You do get this stuff on deploy. Yeah. You just can't add more things to that dock. Yeah. So then... 
Somehow you fit an entire colony inside one of your space dumps. Well, I, the, the, the conceit in the rules is that you have settled the colony and therefore it is no longer under your control. They're now in control of that's that Of planet. their honed destiny. And that you get to just do what's in space. In cars. In cars. Is this what happened to Elon Musk? I feel like in cars. cars. Yeah, that's the best part of the song. The I feel, I feel like now. there's we need, we need like a we need like a Twitter bot that just retweets things and then adds in cars at the end. That's the part where he says cars. Um, say cars. When you say cars, don't know I the words car. to my own goddamn sure, song. That seems fine. But um, if everybody will come and sing along. <laughs> In cars. You mean, the, you mean the cargo transport? <laughs> you know, the, 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 the next one over here, the Grisham? Yeah, the carrier. Yeah. Thanks. All right, so this goes in slot number three. Yeah. Oh, it's not going to get deployed yet, though. That's a shame. I mean, it's sitting fine. in a theater so watching I go back cars. Down to, well, I go down to eight. eight you know, yeah. My date say, Ooh. That's cars. Yeah. Um, well. Oh, man. We found a cool one. Dang Ooh. it. Did we? Damn. It's uh, the UES Armstrong. You got to charge it three times. It's in the 12 slot, and uh, you win. You win. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So you have to roll 12 three times on your turn. Yes. And then you can win. Yeah. All right. Or or, or you can move it to a different slot if you got the thing that does that. Or, or you can use one of the things that move charge counters around. Yes. Which are also out there, which I didn't pick up one of. Whoopsie doopsie. Huh. Oofa doofa. The new space race is on. Your, your turn, Ben. Yep. Let's roll them bones. Uh, two and a six for an eight. Uh, so I am going to... Right, it's my turn. That changes this a bit. <laughs> Shit. Um... Hmm. In cars. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, don't, okay. Don't, don't do it too well, or we'll get muted. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I, I mean, will. I mean, good job, Ian. Th thank you. I was, I was impressed with myself. Yeah. I will take the three coins you. and placing a charge. Oops, on my thing, I can't. Um, Oops, whoops. What do you get, Adam? I get two points. I go to eleven. Six One, two. Eight. I'll just take the uh, six bucks going to twelve. Okay. I get three going to 11 and another income going to nine. Cool. Okay, I got 16 bucks. Here's the real question. Do I want that winning one? I don't think I do. I don't think that's going to be my, my that's, attempt. That's, that's not your path to victory? No, I think I'm just accruing... A path, a path. I think I'm just accruing points naturally. Like, I'm at 15 already. Um, the, the two other squares on the you win card is that if you are in a game with two mm -hmm. or two or three players you also must fill those, because otherwise it would be too powerful. Is there a YouTube video that's just that sustained high note from that song? <laughs> <for 10 hours? laughs> I mean, probably. Uh, <laughs> that cracks me up. I'm going to... What, what is the name of that ship, by the way? Oh, the ship? The UES Armstrong. Oh. Yeah. The UES Big Spoilers. Yeah. What's, um, what's what's on that ship that makes it so that you win? I don't know. It looks like the capsule core. A, like Some sort of death ray. Full Metal Alchemist Captain Armstrong. Come out at you shirtless and big bald head. What's that quote from the Mass Effect game that Cam loves where the guy's like, the like gunnery sergeant oh, is like... Oh, the whole gunnery sergeant speech? Yelling at, uh, you know, like, before you fire this thing, you must have a targeting, targeting solution. When you fire this, you will be ruining someone's day, day somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that so, is from Mass Effect. Like yeah. to this uh, all right, so I'm buying the UES Glenn, to, the one that puts the charge counter anywhere, but I'm sending this thing out into space. Good call. Uh, and it is now the UES Titoff. <laughs> so, if, so if someone rolls a six, Ben just, like, pops off with victory points. Yeah. Um... It is a Burroughs class command ship. Uh, so two charges. Before rolling, set one die instead of rolling it on your turn. And its other side is before rolling, set one die instead of rolling it. Hmm, cool. Wow. What slot does that go in? I mean, what are the chances uh, the of anybody slot. rolling a six, though? I mean, to be uh, fair, Dark Morford, it's not at all typical. Uh, 
<sighs> Your yeah. turn, buddy. Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. I rolled a 10. Yep. Fresh. Sixes are very unlikely. I get $7. Okay, you're at 18. Yeah. Ian? I'm going to take the three, taking me to 15. Okay. Uh, I get three going to 14 and a charge counter on my thinger. Okay, I get... Um, charge cube. Some stuff. Uh, I get two coins... One more income and three victory points. I, as, I assume that ship is a Neil oh, Armstrong. That, that, I, I'm 100% certain yeah. that's what it was, which is why I made the opposite joke. Yeah. yeah. What you buying? I don't know yet. I assume then that there somewhere in the game exists a UES. Adam, Aldrin. you should well, we, we, get the you win the ones. Yeah. And then oh, which I made a joke about it being a Tom Collins. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Because uh, how do you make a Tom Collins? I buy the you win one. You put uh, what is it? Uh, vodka and uh, and tonic in a shaker, shake it up a bit, and then throw it in the air and never let it come down to the moon. We've got the UES guard. So Adam just bought the you win one. Nice. Uh, nice. He's going to try and go from zero victory points to the w insta win. Yes. How many times after roll twelve? Three. Three, Three. Three times. Okay. That's easy enough. Right? Uh, uh, Adam, your mic is kind Sorry. of falling. Sorry. Uh, and we got the UES Gargan, which is literally the same one as the Titoff. But it fits in the one slot. I, Gargan. Which seems pretty sweet. I, I hate to correct you, uh, but... It is the first man in space. It is the Gargarin. Oh, the Gagarin. Oh, is it the Garin? Oh, yes. sorry. Paul, is that better? No, that's okay. not to say I wouldn't like to You're fly on the UES Gargamel. Yeah. <laughs> the UES Gargamel? What about the UES Gatang? Ooh, the Katangs! Yeah, the Katangs were sweet. Uh, Ian, right. your turn, right? I always yes, like their is. airplanes. Well, that's they had airplanes. Yeah. That was their deal. That was their deal. They were airplanes. They also in had planes. armor and tails. I bet they were Saiyans. Oh! Snake eyes! You lose. Double ones. Sorry, that's, Ian, you have to concede. No, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take the two on that. Because that's, that's weirdly the first time considering yeah. how many times you guys have been rolling dice. I'm disappointed. This game. Yeah. Oh, I have two. Bins. I'm not, because that's knocking me up by mm -hmm. three victory Eight points nine. to nine. I have two points. Now. Yeah. So what do you get? Three victory points. I three victory nine. points for Ian. Yep. Nine. What do you get? Uh, I go up by two credits to 16. Uh, I am the same as these. To 12. And I'm going to spend all my monies on... Did you get anything after this? You get two. I'm waiting till we go around. Yeah. You're, oh, that, that was it. My, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> you were, that's why I'm asking you. Point. Yeah. Or two monies. I'm buying the Collins. Okay. It goes in slot eight. It okay. sends the Isel to orbit. What is the? What does that one do again? That one. I uh, put a charge counter on it, and then place one charge counter anywhere, then move one of the charges to another open charge slot. Interesting. Okay. The main reason I'm doing that though is to just get my uh, get things some, into space. Exact. Get yep. my boosters into space. Uh, all right. So wait, we got a reveal. We're revealing the UES Shatilov. Shatilov. Ooh, just oof. Shatilov. Mazel tov. Yeah, it's the exact opposite of a Mazel tov. Is that just nine victory points? Yeah, yeah. but it's Ooh. not a twelve. Mm. Oh. All right, I'm gonna set a die. This time I'm going to set it at five. You're the worst. <laughs> so it doesn't help Ben quite as much. Ooh. You should set it to six. Six. Why? He gets so get three victory points and an income and money. Maybe yeah. eight. Yeah. I mean, you you only get one credit out of that. You got five credit. What? If you roll a twelve. Oh, if I roll twelve. Yeah. No, what I'm talking about. I yeah. want you to roll a twelve. Okay. Here it comes. Six. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> I mean, it was statistically improbable. Improbable, yes. <laughs> the six was always inevitable. <laughs> um, I okay. So I gain five and one. So I gain three, one, two, three. Go to nineteen. Three, um, three credits. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will gain three victory points. One thing and one thing. Wait, Adam. Uh, why, do you, get... why do you gain three victory points? Oh, you're the total is six. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get two points. Two dollars. Sorry. Okay. Ian? I get a single dollar, I believe. Okay. Um... Ben is halfway there. 
Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. Oh, he's halfway there. In cars. Whoa. In cars. Look at his cars. <laughs> he's got do, 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 do. and a wheel and a pedal. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna. He's got a. I'm gonna buy. He's fucking. I'm gonna buy the number hell. one here. Oh, yeah. This is the Walker number one. Seems good. Gives me some victory points, <laughs> and I will. Uh, <laughs> Deploy that. Uh, number eight. And so I go back down to nine at the end of turn. Belch. Uh, that's it. Ben. New code. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Ian. UES Cernan, Sturgeon class defender. Gives you six coins, two slots open. Swap one and swap your one and twelve sector cards. Oh, wow. <laughs> I might have to hate by that. Aww. <laughs> It'll stick. So close. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll some dice. Do it. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna leave that as uh, I'm gonna take a ten and I get to claim two cards from the level two spot. What do I want to send out there? I'm gonna take, I think this one and. Um, God, I don't know. Mr. Hush, technically it's not the first person to 40. When someone gets to 40, there is that then begins the final round. And this so there's still things that, that can happen. That begins the final round. The, en the end game. So That's I'm taking a three... We're in the end game now, Peter. Or a three, a three Tony, slot and a five slot. Peter, Tony, Peter, Tony, Tony. Peter, Peter Parker. Uh, all right. Good old Peter Tony. Mm. Peter Stark. <laughs> My favorite Stark. Peter Tony, the Spider Hulk. You heard me, Graham. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my shit's <laughs> uh, Peter Stark. Pete We're Stark. in the Ender Game now, Goku. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, your son, Goku. Okay. Your turn. I love Adam. it when they're playing. Like, well, watch wait, the, did we do the? Yeah, yeah watch no, the anime Adam. What did you? Son, Goku. What are you taking? Uh, I get. Three points. Three dollars, sorry. One, two, three. I'm taking the ten for three points myself. That'll take me to seven. One, two... Oh, right. Sorry. Seven. Yep. Uh, I get three, go to twelve, and a charge counter on my thing. Ah, yes. I okay. It. I love it in uh, oh, Infinity War, when Piccolo blows up the moon. <laughs> so did you buy That'd be thing? so sick. No, not yet. I'm thinking... Sun Goku. I'm thinking... Um, I'm just going to Kakarots. <laughs> save my money. I mean, radish or oh, oh. raditz? Is it raditz? Raditz? Radish. Yeah. Ah, radish. My so favorite. we've got the Gubarev, which is Sun Goku. A, you can either move it forward one space or two spaces. Kakarot. Yep. And the Shonen, which is uh, Heinlein class, and the same thing. The Shonen? Yeah. Isn't that yeah. an anime? Well, is it's it an archetype. Type of anime? Uh, different, Hi. Different Hi. Different I'm shown in the I'm anime. Shown in the anime. You Adam, can, your turn. That's uh, you only move it if there's the two guy. If you use both. Yes. Mm -hmm. Son, go. Well. Three. Well, that's really that's bad three. for me. Take the sixty-two. Woof. What are you getting, Adam? Uh. Well, it's not what I wanted at all. Well, that sucks. I'm okay with it. Uh, I guess I do this one. And I put a charge on it, right? And then the next time I can say, like, oh, that's actually one higher. Yeah. The sun. Sure. Uh, okay. I'm not going to spend any money. What are you doing, no, Ian? I'm going to take the uh, double threes for $2 up to 9 $2. All right. Uh, almost exactly the same. Double threes for $2 up to 14 all right, I take the I take the threes oh, together three to make six, bro. so I get three victory points, uh, an income, and a dollar you do. Nice. You done? Yeah, I'm finished. So I get two bucks because I have two income. Not gonna buy any. Mm. Nope. Okay. Ah, so maybe that's where we begin. You don't get two dollars because you have two income. Yep. That's not how income works. Income works as if you go below that threshold, you go back uh, up. That's why, okay, that's why every time we look over, you're at a different number than me. <laughs> so, so I'm at nine. You're at nine. I was like, have I just been screwing over the whole time? I don't know. Yeah. 
Makes sense. What did I get? Four and a three? That makes seven. It does. It does make seven. <laughs> the most statistically, um, the most uh, common outcome. Yeah, we're going to put a charge counter on that. Okay. Oh, boy. What are you doing there, Graham? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, get, uh, I get a total of six credits and one income. Ooh, so I go nice. to 20, 20 and, and 10. 10. Uh, I am going to take my three and my four, so I just gain three gold. Adam? Uh, I get three. One, two, three. All right, Ian, now you may have five. Thank you. <laughs> I was afraid we were skipping the, that portion. Taking uh, that down to, well, three. Three. Yep. And I'm uh, going to buy the US uh, or the UES Askinov, okay. which uh, gives me the two bonuses no, whenever that pops off. For sure. And we'll so, throw that in So, yeah, space. just quickly, what does that one do again? So, what happens is once it's charged, I can take two of my blues on my turn from any card and get twice that. Whoa! Wait, take two. Like times two. So, yeah. so he can I... take it off to, for example, gain 20. Dollars. Or six victory points. Yeah. Or regardless of what number was drawn. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Cool. Well, no, so it has to be of the number. So it's like so he first it needs to roll an eight to charge it. Yeah. Then at any point, whatever number is rolled, so if it rolled a like I was saying, an eleven, he would gain ten, but he could remove his thing on its turn because it's double an activated it. okay. to double it. Yeah. Uh all right. I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Ooh, re-roll one, one or both, or both of, your, of dice. your dice. What's the ship? Ooh. Volanov. Mm. Kemble class command cruiser. Mm. Command cruiser at the level two. Yeah. Mr. Stock. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna set one of those dice again. Set it at five. And hopefully the same thing doesn't happen this turn as happened last turn. Let's find out. Wow. <laughs> I mean, at least this time I get three victory yeah, points out of it. Statistically unlikely. You're really bad at that. Yeah, apparently. Uh, so how many victory points? You got three. So three? I got seven. Okay. Uh, is that all the things for, uh, for six for you? Oh, or? and then uh, for five I get one. So I got 20. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah. Uh, all right. I get two, three victory points, one, and one. What, what are the chances of a six coming up? Somebody worked it out before. It's the second highest probability. Well, no, it's it's right. much higher than six, than seven because six can show up on one dice as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sure. But I set a five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. It's six... What you particularly did wasn't yeah, that uh, like. Yeah, two dollars. Okay, Ian? It's a six. I'm getting one dollar yeah. to four. So it's okay. almost 50-50 yeah. chance of having a six. Uh, okay, so... Like, yeah, if you could put a... Uh... 33 and 1.3 are in 3rd chance. Can you pass me that, the, the Gagarin? Ye Gagarin, yes. Playing Gary Thanks. Gagarin. Thanks. I'm so... Gary G Gagarin, first man in space. 153rd winner of the space race. Wow, okay. Space pen. <laughs> do, 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 do. There's a wonderful rap do, about Yuri Gargan. So what does that one do? So this one, uh, if I get charges on it, I can take a charge counter, a charge cube off to set one die instead of rolling it. Cool. And I get one. one so hypothetically, credit. you could set both dice in a future. Yeah, thing. hypothetically. That's cool. And somehow still end up with the same. And I've deployed a ship that now, if someone rolls a one, I get two. Yeah. Um, I think that's the tech. Victory points. Yeah. Okie dokie. Go ahead. Uh, all oh, right. Wait, sorry. You got it. The Yes Carpenter, a Bowie class cargo vessel. Yeah. Uh, it sits in the 12th slot, and you just get 18 credits. Oh. If you're playing the credits game. All right. Rolling. Ooh. Hey, thanks. That's not a good one. Um, Ziggy Stardust and the Carpenters. Actually. It's kind of poopy for me, to be honest. 
Yeah. Uh, I'll take. So what? Taking the summon and moving over is actually worse. All right, I'll take the one and the two, so I gain one, two, three, and can put a charge counter on this thing, which is actually not helping me. Adam, what uh, you get? I get two dollars. Yep. Sixteen. Taking one dollar to five. I get two dollars to twelve and two victory points to nine. One dollar, Bob. Okay. Got Twenty-one dollars. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I am. Two space coins. Not oh gonna buy anything. I'm just All gonna right. pass it right on by. All right. uh, I see what you're up to. I rolled <laughs> <heads. laughs> yeah, Well, five and two. Seven. Cool. Yeah. That doesn't really help me at all, does it? No. Uh, so what are you getting, buddy? I guess I will put a charge on this thing. And I get two dollars too. So I go to eighteen. Okay. I guess I Adam. Yeah. Taking sorry, two uh, space bucks Ian? to seven. That's me. Uh, I get six dollars to eighteen and an income to eleven. Cool. Uh, I'm going to uh, put a charge counter, <laughs> or no, sorry, right, opposite. Um, I gain four. One, two, three, four. Uh, I buy the one where I can swap the thing. Yep. Yeah. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to win this game is if I get yeah. really lucky. Yeah, yeah. We're, in, we're in serious trouble if Ben starts buying colonies. Do, 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 do. do, do. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah, go ahead, Ian. All right, well, we gotta flip, we got to reveal a new ship, and that ship is the UAES Anders. Or is that a class carrier that gives you eight? Wow. Okay. It lives in your 11 slot. It's a five and a two for a total of seven. Yep, all right. What you taking, Mr. Horner? Damn it. I kind of have to take the five and two. All right, what's that give you? Wait a second. Oh, wait, no, this is good. Yes, five and two is good. I'll take one cash up to eight. Okay. And three victory points up to 12. One, two, three. Uh, Graham, what do you got? Uh, six points up to 24 and an income up to 12. Okay. Uh, I will take... <laughs> we keep rolling these twos. Uh, three coinage. Uh, I went down to zero, but then I went you to two four. because of my income. Yeah. And then I'll take two, so I go to four. Right. You Sorry. Get, you get four coins, man. Do I? Five. Yeah. And two. Oh, right. Five. Yes, um, thank you. No problem. Happy to help. All right. Uh, Watch Ben be two coins away from what he Ooh. wanted. <laughs> oh. I'm going to buy the four ship. Or rather, I'm going to buy a ship. Do you have a charge counter on the one that just makes people lose points? Oh, yeah. I actually rolled that one, too, which pisses me off. Ah. Uh, yeah, that was the one that was in the four slot. There we are. All right. He goes back down to three. Uh, up next, we've got the UES Savitkaya. Great. Uh, which is a Paul class cargo vessel that just straight up gives you eight coinage. Sits in the 11 slot. Ugh. Yeah, I'll just keep that. And I will save now. Sorry, I guess I should have done that at the end. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Mr. Stark. I don't get to set one this time, so. Ha! Okay, finally. Finally. <laughs> I do a thing here. <laughs> finally, 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 finally. All right, what do you got, Graham? Scary. Um, okay, so I put a charge cube on the Gagarin, and I get one victory point to ten. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, I am actually going to expend this charge finally and actually make this six. Okay. Oh, nice. There we go. <laughs> uh, so I get. One, two, three victory points, uh, income, and a dollar you do. Adam, what do you got? I get two dollars. One, two. I'm going to take the four and the one to get one dollar up to four, and two victory points up to 14. OK. Hmm. Since it may be uh, soon relevant, is the thing where if somebody is up to 40, 
there's an entire another round? Correct. Is that yeah. how it goes? Okay. The The chat was debating whether it just means finish the current round or whether it's an entire no, the, new round. It the, goes to, the, the tracker only goes up to 40. Presum it can go presum beyond it. I was going to say. Yeah. What, okay. you, what you do then is you set your, your one cube back to zero, and then you start a new cube. Yeah, it, the, the game says that even though you can go beyond 40 in the resources, too, if you'd like. Hmm. Yeah, even though it just goes up to that, you can go beyond it. Okay, so... You finish the current round. So, hypothetically, if I... Who went first? Adam. 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 So, if I win, it's over. That, if that's what the no, no, rules there's are. One, there's one more round, I thought. Let's double check. Yeah, that was my thought as well. My, my finish current reason. round. So, if you get to 40... It's whenever you get to 40 points. So, if I were to get to 40 points on my turn, it would be done. Because my... you are the last I'm the last person in the round. In the round. That would be suboptimal. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Don't you dare tell me what's suboptimal. Uh, yeah. Oh, let, let me, so let me list all the things that are optimal then. Counterpoint. Everything in the world that is optimal. Triggers the finish playing the current round so that each player gets an equal number of turns. Oh, so yeah, I guess it would just end with you then. Yeah. The yeah. world ends with you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> wow. But that game was good. Yeah. It was a good game. All right. Well, um, maybe I'm just going to uh, save my money. That's save. true. That's a good point. Ben Go makes stuff on on other people's turns, so it could actually not be his turn. That yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That, that's why it, yeah. it triggers it. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. My turn. Uh, rolling. 11. Fresh. So uh, I'm going to gain uh, three victory points, one income, and uh, $4. Adam? Uh, I get $4. One, two, three, four. One income to four, six dollars to ten. I thought and all the, I get the victory $7 points... $7 to 31. I thought all the victory points you got was only when you... on other people's turn. Isn't that just in the red there? Oh, it super is. Sorry. Uh, yep, because it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I believe that's the first time you've actually done that. I, yes, it is, 100%. Um, so, yes, 30. So, sorry. Um, so, 6 and 5, I could... For 11, you could get one income. Yeah. Well, all right, I place a charge counter on here. Or for eleven, you could get one income. <laughs> <laughs> Can I interest you in one income? In this one income? Is uh, this is this income? Okay, did I miss anybody? Game? Is everybody check your trackers on your your things yeah. here just to double check that? Yeah, I've got. ten four fourteen. Ten oh. four, good Benny. Actually, Mister Hush, Paul made that comparison. But okay. Yes. The 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 way that it would be more of a clicker game is if you won by getting a certain amount of money. Well. Uh, I'm going to buy this colony. Cool. Ooh. And Big get 11 points. points um, putting that. in my 9 slot. And that triggers the end game. I'm yeah. at 41. Oh, okay. Well, great. Thanks, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> we'll see you later. And the end of the we're, round. We're in the end game now, Tony. Yay! That was a very short end game. Yeah. That was that, that was shorter than the, the Avengers end game. See, this is... I. <laughs> I've been looking at your track. This is why I keep updating your track. I was like, he's got 14. We're okay. Yeah. Because I wasn't looking at this. Sorry. Well, No, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that you could just buy the win right there. I made a to total mistake in not lifting my cube last time and then being able to lift it again the second time on my turn. Mm -hmm. I don't Taking know why you didn't do it anyway. I, I was looking at doing the buy one or two ships. And I had not enough money to be buying ships. Mm -hmm. I, wanted to, I wanted full value from my cube lift. But that's okay, because this is actually uh, a, a great ending time. Yeah. We're like 15 minutes away. So, uh, before we do the end game, what do you guys think of this? I thought this was really fun. Dude, I like this fun game. It's we'll, very, very simple. We'll yeah. play again. Um, in terms of the rule base, mm -hmm. but uh, the the I, I would love to, next time we play this, really invest in the weird swapping uh, charge counter kind of build. That seems really fun. I, There's did, I only did like medium uh, exploration into some of the weirder cards. And yeah. I, I would like to... Pardon me, I'd like to do more. Yeah, and then Ian also sort of invested into the ones that are like, just get free stuff and build up your thing, my, which was kind of interesting. My goal was 
basically trying to cover the board as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah, and I, I aimed in the early game to go from the one to six uh, category. Um, but uh, this was super sweet, uh, and we will probably play it again in the future. So thank you guys very, very much for tuning in. Uh, reminder that this stream is brought to you by the amazing folks over at wormwoodgaming.com. Uh, if you want to get one of their amazing products, like, for example, this sweet dice tower and, uh, and tray that we were using today, mm. you can use uh, code LRR if you're in the U.S. for free shipping or everywhere else in the world. You can use code LRR World for $10 off shipping. This, this is worth... not as close to the edge of the table as you think it is. <laughs> Contingent cat. Sorry, Ian, you were saying. Wormwood Gaming, the bones of trees and the skins of beasts offer not valid in the Forgotten Realm. Nice. It's like a now, now rather than like emphasis now it's like a period. Uh, yeah, that's it, what I always thought it was. It was a comma before a period or a, uh, a semicolon. Yeah. Uh, and also a reminder that everything we do is brought to you by you over at our by Patreon. By who? By you. Do do. Yeah. Uh, Patreon uh, at our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. You're the reason we're able to do all kinds of really really cool things <laughs> like uh, like Superman. Though, so. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon.com. Bones. Thanks for the space. Uh, a reminder uh, that we will be, I've just been doing this after every single one, we're going to be at Magic Fest uh, Seattle. He loves you for this. Yeah. I, I, the, he's on a lot of AFKs, which is why it's gotten me in like the habit of doing this. Uh, we're going to be at uh, Magic Fest Seattle. Uh, myself and Graham and Adam and uh, Serge, Cameron and Cameron. Serge and James and Beej, because we're going to have our merch booth. So... Uh, we can sign stuff, and you can buy merchandise, and we're there for you guys. Uh, we're, we'll be spell slinging and doing all kinds of things. So come say hi. Remember, Beej cries a little bit every time you say, "I didn't know you would be here." Wow. Yeah, that's true. It's true. <laughs> that's why I try. Uh, if you make Beej cry, I'll fight you. Ooh, there you go. In in the middle of Seattle. Patreon.com. So you get to make not Beach only cry. make Beach cry, but you get to fight Adam. <laughs> yeah, it's like a two for one, really. Then you get you get two interactions with two of your heroes. <laughs> uh, before we get into the subs, uh, let's talk about what's going on for the rest of the week uh, in streams. Take it away, Paul. Oh, what isn't going on? That's the trick. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what is going on. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Mark, mark. Checkmark. Checkpoint plus. Uh, it's going Checkmark. on tomorrow <laughs> afternoon. Uh, it is uh, not going to be Checkmark. necessarily uh, bang, bang. Kathleen. She may not be there. Yeah, we're still mm -hmm. in the in bang, the midst bang. of of some. Uh, there's a transitionary well, childcare period, so, so dear. Uh, it will probably be me again. I would be cool. Or a chill point. I'd be cool. With we'll your see head what being, I get written tonight. I'd be cool with your head being on my shoulder. So to it, if we had like telepathic powers, and, like oh, we share your thoughts. Adam and James are going to play magic. Yeah, and yeah. Adam and James are going to play magic after a checkpoint, and then uh, it's going to be Tinker Taylor Solder Fry mm -hmm. cooking with Ian, Kathleen, and Matt. What you cooking? Here's a well. Here's good Slim. looking. I don't know what uh, Kathleen and hey, Matt are into. Good That's looking. probably going to be doing some. Uh, I think well, he's going to be doing scones. What you got? And I'll be putting together Chawan Mushi. Ooh, that's really nice. Egg so, savory egg custard. So is this going to be like a whole meal, or is this going to be like three disparate things that people are going to be I believe it's cooking? three totally unrelated things. Yeah, if, if, if anyone wants to call this a meal, uh, please don't invite me over. But Damn! Wow. Look, you Oof. put you put enough food together, and it counts as a meal, regardless of what We're the gonna food We're going to call is. this a meal, damn Says it. you. Then on Friday... Friday, it is the finale of our... Uh, oh, the Spring League. Yeah, yeah. Of, our, of our Highlander League. Yeah. <laughs> who's is who's currently leading? Uh, I believe it is Jeremy. Ben 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 had a couple of tough ones, I think. That are the... it's Ben, Serge, and Jeremy are tied at the top. I am solidly in the middle. <laughs> and then Cameron and Alex are at the bottom. Mm. Um, but it's going to be really sweet. Apparently, Currently, people, were, people were coming into my chat today being like, watch out, Ben. Ben Wheeler's got a really spicy deck. I'm like, I'm sure he does. Yeah, what he never, he never does. He doesn't show up with a crap pile. Currently, <laughs> uh, it's garbage pile. Uh, but even yeah. that deck, okay. But that that's, deck's good. It's good. That's the <laughs> thing. He was like, man, this deck sucks. Uh, anyway, uh, turn two, sneak attack out this and kill you. And I'm like. Oh, yeah, that's a crappy deck. <laughs> oh, you got woolied. Yeah. Uh, currently, uh, Ben Wheeler and uh, Jeremy White are tied for first. Ah, Whoa. there it is. Yeah. I'm excited because uh, Jeremy actually brewed my deck uh, that I'm bringing, uh, and it's five-color zoo. 
<laughs> it's gonna be funny. Cool. That 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 is a very a very spicy zoo. Yeah. Well, and it's a it, it's a maybe, rainbow. Maybe it's a, a rainbow bad neck and he's like, zoo. I don't want Ben to compete with me. I'm gonna bring this terrible thing. Yes. I'm gonna bring this like deck that my opponent nah. made for well, me. Well, and I believe we said and all agreed upon that the winner of the tournament has to buy everyone else ice cream. Nice. So. Yeah, yeah. The, the ice cream not prescribed. Yeah. The the winner uh, gets the privilege of buying everybody else ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Get ready for Neapolitan, one of those cardboard things you get. Uh, and oh. then on Saturday, <laughs> what the what's going on here? Oh my goodness! <laughs> per a bet made during the Punch and Chuck stream, comma that Adam lost, comma, comma it's time to play some Minecraft. Wow, who wrote that? Mm -hmm. I wonder who wrote that. Uh, yeah, nice. uh, uh, Adam uh, thought he thought. He made a safe bet in betting that uh, James would win the chunk, punch a chunk challenge. Turns out it was Surge. Wait, you bet with you James? bet against Surge? Yeah. In Minecraft, James was way ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I, don't know, I was like, man. yeah, I'll bet on James. I love that you bet you bet in support of your friend, and you're being punished for it. Yeah. 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 I dare. That you sounds make, like being friends with James. I yeah. dare you to make a sweet <laughs> golf course. The question, Adam. the question is, should, did yeah. did James throw the match in order to get Adam? To do it? We'll never know. Very true. I mean, it is well, the now last, that you've put this thought is, in I, hate, I regret to inform you that it will be the last stream I ever do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is in a the quote. quote. Yeah. I mean, I did. I did play Minecraft on stream before because James held magic packs of magic cards ransom. <laughs> He's like, I better. Oh, I'm going to open these for no value if you don't play Minecraft. What? what? Yeah. That's it was quote, like at the old office. That's quote two. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Corey is going to be continuing her play it forward of Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, and, uh, I, I don't know how far along she is in it, but, uh, uh, it's gotta be pretty far along. She's been it's going all the way, going, going heavy duty onto it because, uh, guess what? On Sunday, it's more <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. The uh, same Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn. Dawn. Followed by a Poppin' Music 9. Mm -hmm. We're popping off with more music and Poppin' Music 9. Fishjin. <laughs> Is that, me this now? is that just the phrase? <laughs> just what I Fish say. How was Fishgin, by the way? It was good for about half an hour. Man, that sounds like it made for a good three hour stream. Video game! Yeah. <laughs> we had a backup. It was good. For okay, half that's an hour. good. Uh, and then guess what? Horizon Zero Dawn on Monday. <laughs> nice. There isn't even a graphic for that one. That's uh, because we're, we're, we're past wow. what's on the. Uh, Maybe James should spend less time losing on the events bets. page. Yeah. More time doing the schedule. Oh! <laughs> Wait, I thought uh, you lost the bet. Shut up, Graham. Okay. What else is on Monday? <laughs> Whose side are you taking? Mine or James's? Uh, guess what? On Monday, we're also <laughs> going to be we're also going to be continuing uh, oh, the to be Dice here. Friends uh, mm -hmm. Cam's Dice Friends campaign. Après le flood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after the flood. I love um. Le flood. I was, I was saying I to Heather, I love when I come in here to stuff. Studio oh, C, and uh, I look on the computer because I, you know, the the Dice Friends' last thing was on here. And I look on the computer and I see that uh, Heather has been doing a uh, Google search for the emoji for a uh, person slapping their head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's why I made an emote of it. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, that must have been a good campaign. That could mean anything. Yeah. Uh, and then more Mine O'Clock. More the Minecraft Tuesday. with yeah. uh, James Uno, Serge, and presumably <laughs> so, Adam because he Minecraft. will have... Fallen in Mi love. At that Minecraft, time. Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Zero Dawn, D and D. Music stream, Horizon Zero Dawn, D and D. Yeah. Cooking. We're a variety streamer now. Uh. Subs times. All right, let's hide that. Yeah. yeah. Uh. I remind. I just. I was. I was looking. I wanted to say if we ended up going that far on Let's Know next week, we once again are continuing to run back. The Dark Occult. Which... Hope you like looking for fucking keys. Oh, and my, keys with you, different names too. You Not would a real key. Laugh You're gonna so find the hard. fucking goat horns. Because those are just keys, Graham. The game is fucking so funny. It's I love it. Ad Alex would that's, lose his that's mind. That's his favorite kind of game. The game oh, where you find God. keys so you can get keys. We what what are we at? Somebody actually made a list and, and the MacGuffins are at what? Like easily over forty? At this point, like easily, That's so many MacGuffins. We were we they all we were already looking for statues when they gave us five medallions more medallions that we needed to find yeah, and two were, horns. We're looking for six statues. We're like, oh, did you find the five medallions yet? We're like, yeah. what? <laughs> but to get the other key, medallions, we needed to go find the closet keys. 
yep. and the box keys and yep. go find every box in the level because that's where the medallions are. <laughs> I have 12 meat stick. And a partridge in, in a, a pear tree. tree. In your board. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching the stream. And uh, thank you for supporting us in all the ways that you do. But uh, in particular, we want to thank the people who subscribed during the stream. And I'm very excited about this. This They're is the, at least, at least for me, this is this is going to be big. So let's start. Thank you. Okay. Wait, Soul what? Survivor with a 26 month resub. Okay. Why Welcome back. I don't know. You'll I don't see. Know. I like that my emotes there. Uh, Anja Zeta with uh, 31 months. Welcome back. I should have changed it to the face bombing mode. Mm. <laughs> uh, Shambling Crenshaw. Thank you, friend, for the 30 month resub. And thanks to DJ Alternative for three months of spinning those wax discs. K6960, 30 month resub. Welcome back. Okay. Canvas Wolf Doll for 31 months. Welcome back. Okay. It begins. Oh! We've finally hit it. Uh, I've got a couple of these. Yeah. I haven't it, seen Yeah, one. you get to do your first one. Nice. Oh, lovely. Nice. GR Griffin 3. 69 month reset. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 And... Here in Just my car. Just not day. <laughs> Just not day for 28 months. Welcome back. Uh, Jasaria. Thank you, friend, for the 15 months. The surface of the moon for 19 months. The whole surface of the moon? The whole thing. Agent Magic Master, 65 month nice. reset. Welcome back. Kodra, 22 for 23 months. Nice. Kodra, la la Kodra. <laughs> Big, large for the 25 month reset. Welcome nice. back. Nice. Alan Hefley for 34 months. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Sir Blix, 37 month reset. Welcome back. Nice. Despector for two months. Welcome back. Nice. Armadillo Al. You're the cheapening. Month resub. <laughs> the nice. 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 You're, it's like 69 has no meaning anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've taken the power away from you. <laughs> just me or you, Adam? It's you. I just oh, and the coolest for 30 months. Nice. 42 milliways. <laughs> stop. For 19 months. Welcome back. Not me. Nice. Uh, Draja128 for four months. Welcome back. Bright Storm Rising! Thank you for the 26 months. In cars. In cars. The Passerby for 27 months. In Suspended cars. Disbelief for 32 months. Welcome back. The Glorious Most for 6 months. Night. Night. Motion Boy. <laughs> Thank you, friend, for the 2 month resub. Cosmic Duct Tape for 21 months. Night. Night. Fun size Cyclops for nine <laughs> That's months. That's a great name. Welcome back. Uh, Avatim one for uh, sixty-eight months. What, like what is the size of a Cyclops that makes it fun? Like, is it like like a lap size Scott Summers? <laughs> that sounds terrible. Who's Scott Summers? Oh, oh, Cyclops. like uh, Mar Yes, X Men Cyclops. Yep. Who is this? You can Indiana. Scott Summers. Indiana. Indiana. Indiana Joe. And Joe. Yeah. For thirty-eight months. I was thinking of an actual Cyclops. Tari Lambel yeah. for four like months. Welcome back. Mythical creature. Yeah. Zinch for 18 months. Yes. Welcome back. A fictional Cyclops. Unlike Two Scott Summers, the X-Men. <laughs> the real Cyclops. The, the historical figure of Scott Summers, <laughs> the Cyclops. Listen. Two men in a horse costume. The X-Men horse happened. happened. You can't deny it. Yeah. Mutants <sighs> are real. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Digi Gunner, 16 months. Thank you. Burger Teraf for a 29 month resub. Welcome back. Vlanioik for 17 months. Welcome back. Night Echo 06. Thank you very much for the 28 months. Roger Ivnani. <laughs> nine months. No. In cars. Nine months. Thank you. Uh, uh, On Dora Strix for a 22 month resub. John C. <laughs> 65 oh, months. John C. Welcome back. The Pear Bear! Thank you very much for the 23 months. Big ups for those 2,650 bits from Two Men in a Horse costume, EJG Gunner, and I am Clockwork. Thank you once again for those bits. The bits, the bits. It, it just occurred to me that what, what, I, I'm at, what would be actually really awesome with this game, the mechanic in this game, like 
a an RPG, like sort of like like Slay the Spire or something, like as a combat system, it could be super. It would be super mm-hmm. cool. Like yeah. you, you, you like it's dice rolling, but then you like change all your what abilities activate when you roll different dice. Yeah, I can I'm totally sorry, go for that. E J G R Gunner. I was gonna say E J G R. I was gonna say E J G Gunner R. Just to, yeah. but no. E J G R Gunner Christ. A Thanks. twenty-nine month resub from Elevation Four Thousand Feet, right there at the end. Thank, Thank you. you. In cars. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys very very much for tuning into AFK this week. Uh, tune in next week where uh, we play more board games, probably <laughs> in cars. Nice. That would be challenging. Nice. nice. Yeah, we'll we'll have to work out the the setup for that. that in James's be- van. <laughs> <laughs> It smells like a double-double. <laughs> nice.